Hello everybody and welcome back to the 2024 Pokemon Let's Go Any% Percent NMS Tournament. My name is Trevaria and I will be in commentary for you today. I'm joined by the Sandy B JRL and Sai J. How are you doing? Hi everybody. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm ready for what I can only describe as the most gaming matchup that we've had so far in this tournament. This is quite possibly the most likely matchup I would expect for the Grand Finals match, and it's happening now in round three. I am so excited. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting race between these three racers. I mean, it's basically last year's final, except that Saiyan's also here. So, looking forward to what these three can do today. And notably, they're all playing Pika. That's so true! We do have That's a very important thing of Pika today. I feel right at home. <laughs> it's it's so nice because I don't have to ask questions like, oh, what does Eevee do here? Like, Eevee cares about its stats? That's strange. Those things that are just <laughs> foreign to me. But I know, I know, like, generally these players are not going to be skipping Thunderbolt. They're just going to be clicking Zippy Zap on things. Things are going to faint, and they're just going to win. Yeah, and that's what we want to see. <laughs> Okay, the countdown has started, so we will go to the racers in a minute, and they will be starting in less than a minute now. Um, what do we think about backups? What do we think about backups? I don't know if any one of them will actually go for it. I think all of them are uh, confident enough in their abilities to run even with a minus attack Pikachu. Yeah, I don't think anyone picks a backup here. I, I would guess... Amber has a backup. That's just my gut feeling that Amber has a backup ready, but might not pull it at all. And I mean, I, I guess we'll see in around four to five minutes, depending on whether they check their natures in lab. They're all boy Pikas, unfortunately. No girl I hope they all... That's disappointing. <laughs> no girl Pikas that I saw. I saw no heart-shaped tails. As someone with a heart-shaped tail, tail Pika emote, I am very disappointed in the game. Maybe we'll see some girl characters, at least. Yeah, I definitely expect girl 3 from one of Amber Echi. I expect a girl 2 out of one of them. Uh, I don't know Saiyan's preferences enough, but I'd imagine that there's like girl 1 maybe coming out too. Let's see. A yeah, very important choice right off the bat here. Okay, boy three. Girl, girl one, boy one. Okay, interesting. I'm curious if Echi just like held his analog stick down for a bit and just clicked A. Because I, I don't know like what the idea is there. You, usually people like to go for girl three. So I'm curious if he's also trying to like have the backup of doing mountain skips as well. Because he knows them <laughs> with boy character. Okay, he did try to pick girl three and whiffed. Okay, that's important <laughs> context. Thank you, Batchy. Much much more excusable now. <laughs> I would also like to put out there that I am invested in this race as a Pickums participant. And I did pick Amber to win. So Amber's getting Girl 3 correctly and Echi not uh, gives me more faith in Amber to win and Echi to be in third place as I predicted. So, Well, Echi is actually undefeated uh, in the Let's Go tournament and including all the matches last year. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but all of these three runners are undefeated in this year's uh, tournament, which is the exciting aspect of this race, you know, b besides seeing three extremely skilled runners uh, race each other. All of these have won both of their re uh, races so far in the tournament, are on six points right now, and only one of them will remain undefeated today. Yeah, and I think the way the bracket is set up is the person who wins is basically secured to be in the top nine end bracket. Then the person who gets second is probably going to end up with two points because a will most likely finish above the median time, or below, have a better time than the median. And that should also lock them up for the top nine. 
and the person who finishes third will likely have to still win a race to make the top nine. So all of these players should be meeting up again at some point, I believe, at the end of the tournament. Okay, we're gonna check Pikachu CP here. Twenty-six for Etchy. Twenty-six for Amber. Oh, 26, yes. Okay. Yeah, twenty-six all around. So, basically, for anyone who doesn't know, the Pikachu is different than Eevee on this catch screen, where Pikachu can have twenty-six or twenty-seven CP, and twenty-seven for Pikachu means that it always has a neutral nature, whereas twenty-six means there's a plus and minus stat somewhere. So. Pika runners get that little advantage of knowing whether or not their Pikachu is runnable if it's 27 uh, ahead of time. Whereas EV runners will have to wait a bit to, get, to go check the nature to see that same information. So all these players will have to check their Pika or just not and roll with what they see. Yeah, they'll get the opportunity to check their nature either directly after picking up the starter from uh, the desk over there in the lab, or what's more common is just checking on the first level up uh, on the second battle. Yeah, another difference between Pikachu and Eevee is that Eevee, uh, Pikachu actually levels up one battle early, um, so you can check your nature uh, a little earlier than Eevee can if you're not checking in the lab. Let's see if anyone checks. Saiyan isn't. No, no one is. Nope, no checkers. So they all just commit to their Pika. Yep, just gonna roll with it. I respect it. One of them's gonna get like naughty and it's just gonna run away with the race. <laughs> Potentially. I mean, it's a gamble. We could see some, we could see three minus attack Pikas, you know? Oh, that'd be so funny, because they would still finish, like, sub-301, probably, at, like, a best day scenario, and that'd just be great. But they would have to work for it, you know? <laughs> yeah, you'd have to do the whole thing where you get the 2C Misty fight going on, you buy an yeah. X attack somewhere, those things. <laughs> Alright, so quick update on the other race that is just now finishing up over at uh, PSR TV, the main one. <laughs> Uh, Rendell finished the race in first over there at, three, at a 3 of 5 12. Uh, King Traps is just going into Champ right now, and Desarian is finishing up Lance. So, depending on how Champ goes, that second place over there is still up for grabs, while our runners in this race just make their way up Route 1, collecting the parcel. Hopefully, they all click yes, and one of them doesn't have to do like the walk back down Route 1. I hope so. It's a thing but I'm I mean... definitely afraid of. <laughs> Just okay, like... all got it. There we go. Just keep your fingers away from the stick in this in this situation. Just mash or turbo, whichever you prefer. I mash B at this cutscene just to make sure I don't accidentally click anything. Alright, so we're gonna go into the first rubber fight in a minute here. Uh, pretty straightforward fight for Pika. We just uh, thunder, uh, not thunderbolt, <laughs> thunder shock uh, the fight. It's usually a four hit. Um, if you have plus special attack or you get a good crit or something, you do have a chance to get a, a three hit fight, which saves you a little bit of time. Uh, but luckily, we aren't really prone to having the fight go on longer than four turns. Unlike EV version, which can really get slowed down quite a bit from the enemy Pikachu using Growl over and over again. It looks like none of them are plus defense. That's one of the big things you can get out of this fight. With the information on if EV does four damage to you, you know- Amber died! That's fast, that's oh. good. Yeah, Don that is, is actually fast. uh, faster uh, on this fight. It It is faster, but now they'll have to... They, they are at a slight experience deficit, and they'll also have to adjust their shop because they have less money. Yeah, uh, they'll have to buy one less Great Ball. 
exactly. Um, it's not the end of the world by any means, and again, it does speed up the fight slightly, uh, but uh, it's something that they'll have to keep in mind. Yeah, look, you can see Amber's a few seconds ahead of Pachi now. It's so interesting that, like, that's optimal. I also, you yeah. also lose one friendship with your Pikachu at that point. Which is oh, yeah. Because I've never I didn't think about, about that. that. Yeah. Might make those turnarounds kick in a little later. Hopefully, uh, they would still kick in at Jan I think. Gosh, yeah. friendship in this game is so interesting. There's so much to think about with friendship in this game. And Pokemon in this game just love you. Want it. Like, it's very hard to make them hate you. Yeah. There's no, there's no, like, bitter herbs or anything. Okay, Amber won't level up here because that, the, the XP is missing. I'm going to check Etchy's stats. Other cut sands. Minus defense. Uh, Sane definitely has neutral attack and special attack. Yeah, minus defense and neutral others, so it's probably hasty, I think, for Etchy. Because I saw a speed AV. Someone in chat definitely caught it. Not a super great nature for Pikachu. You already outspeed everything. Well, okay, actually saying gentle, so he has higher special defense, lower defense. Um, All right. Overall neutral. Uh, there's a couple fights. Oh. <laughs> Amber getting motion controlled on the early back catch there. A little annoying. Oh, Sane also getting an early back, nice. So the main uh, draw of catching a bug on Rad 2 before you enter forest is that you get a boost to your catch chance here, so you can basically just chuck the ball right out of the bat. You don't really have to wait for anything. Um, you lose out on a little bit of experience, which is especially annoying for Amber, who's already behind on experience, but uh, it's faster than doing the one sea catch in forest. Uh, and also safer because the bag, if you catch a bag in forest with one controller, it has a slight chance to break out, which is really annoying. Yeah, I think it's like it's a 70% catch with an excellent raspberry in forest or something. And no circle on a route to bug is like 93% chance. It's yeah. The newbie bonus. So it's a lot safer just to be able to just throw quickly. And you lose out on like. I don't know, 40 EXP and, and like have to take a couple of extra levels on the back to evolve it. But it's, yeah. still, it's still nice to get it just for the extra safety, I guess, in, in Forest. And for what it's worth, you do make up that loss of EXP a little bit because your first bug catch in Forest is a 2C. So it's like, you know, it's not too bad. And you can catch like Oddish first thing in Forest if you want now, because now you have two controller. It's also uh, last fight here. This fight's much easier on Pikachu because it's just a one shot. Yeah, EP version of course has to rely on either catching a Pikachu or tackling twice, which. Um, Opens up the possibility of sand attack, so that's never fun to see. Looks like Amber's <laughs> plus attack. Oh, that's nice of them. 15 to 17 attack. Good gamble. So we're gonna get into catches now. Of course, Amber and Sane both already had a bug. Uh, Etchy's gonna get his first Caterpie right here. He's gonna Raz to increase the chance. Ooh, also misses the throw. Gets trolled by the attack. But it stays in, at least. Yeah, it looks like Amber is adamant. That's, that's neat. Adamant is a, a very interesting case for Pika because you don't really love being minus special attack, but the benefits of getting the plus attack from adamant basically compensate for the minus special attack risks. Uh, they, they just have to make sure that they hit level 30 for Jesse and James 3. Well, they could also do a funny thing where they skip oh, people. Yeah. Um, if you get enough attack AVs, it's basically like a wash on time. Um, and you can just like buy extra X attacks in Vermillion. Um, 
skip learning to evolt because it's like five seconds or so. And then just power through with X attacks instead of X special attacks in the mid game. Uh, I haven't thought about skip T bot strat for so long. I think since need, last like, tournament. <laughs> you need like seven attack ABs to make it worth it, but it's funny. Seven in total or seven on the cycle? Seven per cycle. Oh, okay. Well, that's it's lot. very rare. <laughs> but it, like, it's adamant. Like, it's gonna it get. It can happen for sure. Oh, we see Kakuna here for Amber. Uh, something you can do if you need some experience early. Uh, Kakuna is a pretty easy catch, all things considered, and gives quite a lot of EXP. So, uh, opting to catch it instead of evolving the Weedle. Oh no. Etchy is hasty. That is plus speed. Bro lied. Bro lied so much right now. I have to redo this pin message. Sorry, I just, I trusted him and he let me down. <laughs> and that's on me, honestly. Unreal, Etchy. Yeah. The betrayal. <laughs> but yeah, this is like generally normal forest. I aside from saying getting a Kakuna, right? Well, that was Amber. Amber getting a Kakuna. Okay. Yeah. And got Route One Weedle. It looks like. Yeah, both Amber and Sane got early bug. Uh, I think both Amber and Sane also still need an Oddish. Yeah, the I think the Kakuna catch is really good. Uh, for Amber, because it resets your catch chain. So when you're on a catch chain, basically the most recent thing you caught gets an extra roll uh, every time a thing spawns. So if a, the most recent Pokemon you caught was a 50% chance to spawn, then every Pokemon that's rolled after that will then have a 50% chance to be replaced by that spawn. Oh, shiny Metapod! Yo! <laughs> and she runs away. <laughs> Imagine getting getting one of those spawns right underneath your feet and it's a shiny, shiny Metapod. <laughs> well, yeah, we're looking for Oddish here for everyone, apparently. No, actually, just going for the Pidgey. Uh, Oddish is the Pokemon that we use for the Brock fight. It's grass type, you do need a grass type to be admitted into the gym. On top of that, it knows absorb and has pretty high special attacks, so it basically one shots both the Geodude and the Onyx. I guess the Onyx can be arranged depending what level and what special attack the Oddish has, but we just hope for the best here. Yeah, and we see here that Amber got Oddish first set reset of Route 2, and that's probably because of the Kakuna catch, which Kakuna isn't possible to find in Route 2, so the catch chain doesn't come into effect. But Saiyan had caught something, one of the bugs that is available in Route 2. So then you have that catch chain, and it becomes more likely to see the bugs rather than Oddish. That's like just a small optimization that can like, save you some yeah. time. And we're also going for early red here for some nice extra experience. Again, usually you want to catch something as close to being able to evolve as possible, but with uh, Radata, uh, you can catch it early and then just catch Eradicate later if you just want the experience, even though it's slightly slower. Also, yeah, Dynam and Chad pointing out that Amber's 7 through 9 AVs were all going to attack, so skipping Thunderbolt is becoming increasingly likely. <laughs> a very possi it's, possible thing. It's so silly. I love it so much. <laughs> so, saying about to go into block here. is a catch down, so that's why he's slightly ahead of the others. Yeah, and I think overall a little bit less EXP as well. Let's see what his odds is at. Probably just the basic level, yeah, le just level 9, which is perfect. This is why Route 2 Oddish is really good. It just comes at level 9, which uh, means that it's already pretty likely to one-shot the Onyx. Let's see if it happens. He gets Rock Throw. Oh, doesn't get the one-shot. That's That must be bad special attack on that Oddish. 
At level 9? That's rough. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't get punished with like a headbutt punch or anything at least. Yeah, that's really annoying. And they can actually get dangerous if you get more than one flinch there. But saying gets through, no problem. Yeah, I had an Oddish the other day that missed the Geodude range because it was like level 7. It was so silly. Yeah, if you if you catch an Oddish in Forest and it's level 7, uh, I think the go-to strat would be to use Growth to avoid those kinds of ranges, but it is pretty annoying to do. You know, that extra turn to get the Growth set up. Usually we try to uh, catch it first if we do catch it in Forest so that it gets the experience from the bug catches, which at least should bring it to level 8. Uh, but sometimes you just can't avoid it, really. Or you don't want to risk the rat to roulette and see an Oddish in Forest to go for it. And the thing that we saw both Echi and Amber do, but not Saiyan, was catching something else on Route 2 to buff the EXP of the Oddish. Uh, actually caught a Pidgey, I believe, or no, yeah, actually caught a Pidgey and Amber caught a rat. Um, that's a thing that people have been doing in races since last year, and even some PB attempts just to have, uh, oh. better, uh, moon time. Yeah, I just noticed Sane uh, did the tournament shop. He bought burn heals and didn't buy the X defense. I think that's a good play, and also you can buy X defense later if you really want it. Um, oh yeah. But there are a couple of places where you can get burned on Pika, and it's nice to have it, rather than having to take a center. I, I really like the tournament shops. I did them last year as well, when I was participating. It's a nice little bit of safety, and you don't really... You don't consistently need the X defense when you're, you're doing safety strats. Uh, because you're gonna do two C Giovanni later. Amber also it's... bought a burn heal. Yeah. Not sure about Edgy, I didn't... I don't Look at think his I job. saw when I saw three awakenings. I, I, I paused to clip it real quick. Yeah. The burn heal is especially nice for the Misty fight, since you can get burned by Scald. And that's really annoying. Um, if you don't have a burn heal, you have to go to the Pokemon Center, which is, which is really slow. So, uh... Okay, yeah, actually did buy a next defend. Okay. The only one doing regular PP strat shop here. He's totally gonna get burned on that Volpix in Tunnel now. That would be so sad. That's the other mm. spot where the burn can come in. Uh, no one's getting any bonus catches on Route 3 either. Bonuses? Okay. No Sentry, no Mankey. Uh, just gonna grab this Magic Harp for three dollars fifty. That's five hundred. It, it's five hundred Pokemon dollars, yeah. But uh, I calculated that. I, I don't know if it was during a different stream, a doing a different commentary stream. I uh, so so the Pokemon dollars are based on yen. No and shot. So it's just, actually three fifty. It is, I think it's $3.50, yeah. I, yeah I, I, I was uh, in Japan last year, and uh, it's it's lovely. No matter where you're from, for, for money. I can, I can look for it again right now. Yeah. Right, so... We're lucky that all these racers are doing Pikachu, because normally we would talk about the way that these... The version difference and like what menus you do here, but all of them are doing the menu later than where Eva would do it. So yeah, we're just gonna keep using Oddish here to defeat the best. But by the way, I just looked it up. It's actually three dollars eighteen. Okay. Okay. Good. The game like makes no... fun of you for buying it too. And it's like, where are you gonna find a magic carp until you can surf? Yeah. Right. Like that's so far in the game. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, this magic carp is a steal. I maintain that. <laughs> uh, Amber stream just froze. 
Yeah, that's definitely a frozen stream for Amber. Not just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Hopefully we can get them back. Yeah, working on it. In just a second. Uh, the others are going down to the basement right now, trying to get their catches. Uh, yeah, we want to see that Clefairy right there for, for Saiyan. Uh, we're also trying to get a Paris and a Dude. Clefairy here is probably the most important, though. That's unfortunate for Saiyan getting, getting the attack right there. Uh, you do want to catch it with the first ball, of, of course, to get the experience multiplier for the first throw catch. So he's going to lose out on a little bit of experience here. Yeah, the metapod would have evolved for him if he had gotten the first ball there. Which you do want to get rid of that as soon as possible. The Butter Freeze and the Tressalon 3 moves at level 13. And having it evolved in your party is uh, not good. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Though I guess you could argue right now that the Metapod hasn't evolved yet. So uh, if he does catch like a super-sized Paris or something, then it's probably just going to be a level 30 Metapod, which is not going to learn those moves. Oh, I should guess the cringe cycle on Geodude. No, I realize I'm watching the Twitch stream, which is also delayed. <laughs> uh, oh, Saint's just getting everything here. That's the Paris. The regular, regular Paris, no super sized here, so gets trolled again. Oh, this is going to be rough for Saint's experience. Yeah, Paris is, also, is already not like that high of an EXP catch generally. Yeah. But if you miss the first ball on it, it just makes it go down so much. It's yeah. so devastating. He's just level 13. I mean, it is a glowing dude, dude, so I think he should be fine, but this is very like. Bare bones experience for Sam. Okay, Unless cool. the dude is super sized. We have Amber back. Amber is on a lot of Just evolving the Butterfree. Everyone has marked Magic Heart, so that's good. Yeah, don't be me and forget to mark it every single time. I'm weird. I think I'm like the only runner that always starts with a gift bomb mark. Yeah, it's very confusing to like watch your PBs and then like see your catch counts are wrong the entire <laughs> time. To be honest, <laughs> it it's makes worse because it it's like on my splits I have the correct number, but yes, I don't want to do math when I check my splits after PB. <laughs> Anyway, so saying very wisely just deposited the bugs and everything else before trying to catch this Geodude because it is a glowing Geodude, which already gives 50% uh, more experience than a non-glowing Geodude, but it also has a rare, uh, small chance of being supersized, which increases that to four times the experience. Uh, so, <laughs> and this one's just a regular glowing Geodude though. I think that should be enough EXP to get Saiyan to 15 at the end of the video. Yeah. But this is like the minimum you have to be at. This will just hit 15 or 15 J. And it's a sassy Pika, so it's not like it has any advantages on attack stats. So we could be looking at uh, like 5 or 10 out of 16 range on Misty's Starmie for him. Yeah. Which at that point you might actually... Oh, oh, he hasn't done the Sentry yet, so... I mean, he's still just going to be 15, but it, that does make it more likely that he's actually going to hit it. Yeah. And there's also the chance of making a sand true after Mount Moon, because I don't think anyone got one of those so far. That's true, yeah. I, I think he's really gonna hope for, uh, hope to get one of those to maybe hit 16 and make the range better on this army. Yeah, Pikachu actually has a lot of bonus Pokemon compared to Eevee on this route. Um, you can get sand true, Mankey, uh, Charmander's a 1%, but it's not impossible for it to spawn, but it's not likely. Well, actually, Charmander is a 0.5% the rare spawn, and you don't have a lure up at that point. So oh, it's, too it's rare. even worse. Um, 
Yeah, Amber missed the circle there, just barely. Okay, there we go. Got an excellent second throw. I also think it's interesting watching the racers from my point of view and seeing like who is clicking caught before they catch the Pokemon, who is not. And I think that speaks a lot to the confidence of these racers and like their mental mindset of playing this game. I won't say anything beyond that, but I I don't think it, I don't think it has any anything to do with confidence. I always mark mine ahead of time. Yep. As soon as I see and... it spawn, I'm like, well, I'm going for that. It's marked. Yeah. <laughs> I click I click the chancy button as soon as I run into it. It is getting in that ball. <laughs> it better. So yeah, uh, I I. I'm not aware how the experience is looking, what the experience is looking like for Amber and Edgy, but I guess we're gonna find out here on the grand fight for Amber. I believe they're both on 14. Okay, so everyone is operating on the baseline of experience that you have to be at, since you do need to hit that level 15 to enter Misty's gem. Yeah, Amber is almost 15. Okay, yeah, so Etchy and Ember will definitely hit 15, might even do it, or would probably even do it before J&J, &J, which is always helpful. And what's saying is probably gonna go into that fight at level 14, which probably is gonna turn that into three or even four turn fights. Yeah, and for Amber, that's gonna be really nice, because it's gonna just turn it into a two turn fight. Um, I yeah. don't think Etchy or Sane will be able to swing a two turn fight, most likely. Unless they, like, crit or something. Yeah, and that's one of the benefits of the plus attack or minus special attack um, strategy. It's just instead of buying one X attack and one special attack, you buy three X attacks in Pewter, and you use two of them on the J and J fight. Um, it lets you just get the two turn a lot more consistently, and it's more cool in my opinion. It is a fun strat because you basically just. Turn into Eevee for a second and use Headbutt for everything. <laughs> yeah, an Eevee with an attack stat. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Ember going into Super Nerd. Insane is picking the Helix Fossil. It is interesting to note they're all basically tied right now. Yeah. Amber's probably going to pull ahead a little because of uh, their advantage in the J&J fights. Yeah, and the advantage of just having much higher attack stat in general is going to let yeah. the, like, okay, 40 attack at 15. I don't think that's too outrageous. Uh, Still pretty high. That, I mean, that's 4. Attack ABs at 15. Yeah, it's. So that's... I mean, they'll definitely don't have to worry about any ranges on Misty. <laughs> I don't think that's quite T Bolt skip, unfortunately, but Aww. that's still good. FG is min attack, which is thankful to see, but you know, I am, again, very biased as a commentator, and I picked FG as last in my pickups, so, you know. That's just how it is. It looks like Saiyan got a pretty slow three turn. And it's just hitting 15. 35 attack. So 35. Be, uh, 10 and 16, 10 and 16. Yeah. So that is, you, you can live with that, I suppose. Uh, it is still a risk, of course. We'll see what, what he does about that, or if he even has to worry about it, since he might still run into a Sandshrew, Mankey, or whatever, to get him to level 16 in time. That's just a bird. Ah, oh, that's a Mankey. Alright, it's one. I don't think a level 7 Mankey 
will do the trick though. Not by itself. Amber trying to dodge this no. rat. So now saying would I either have to catch something else or just take the risk of the ten and sixteen? Yeah, I yes. Think you... Oh, there oh, is oh, Sandra. Bot late, but it's worth it to go back in same situation. Or really in each situation. Especially since you still have a 2C out, it's like it's just so worth it. Yeah, for sure. Let's see, this might get him close enough so that the side act pushes him over. I don't know, I think it could be close. There's two more Pokemon to defeat before uh, before the Stymie comes out, the Goldeen and the Psyduck in Misty's Gym. I've not been keeping track of Echi's attack. Uh, he said men attack. Okay, so he's also going to struggle with the range, yeah. even more so than Saiyan, actually. Saiyan has, I think, two ADs at 35. Echi mm -hmm. said he had zero, so he would be a 5 and 16. That's rough. Of course, the question is, but there is yeah. the world champ difference, though. <laughs> that is true. Which I think Saiyan is world champ right now, so... I mean, in, in Pika version, yeah, depending on what you, uh, what you define as world champ. But I guess the leaderboard is still worth more than the tourney win last year for Echi. <laughs> it's gonna go into it 1C, so no, no safety strats here to avoid the 5 and 16 range. Hope he doesn't get punished. Got the side up range. That's good. <laughs> yeah, nice crit. Say and get level sixteen, so that'll be a safe. Okay, uh, hits the range. There we go. Takes out the starmy. No worries. Amber and Echi are going to be very close going into the rival fight coming up next. Amber will have a, an easier time with that, or I, I guess a less risky time, since uh, they definitely don't have a range on using double kick. Uh, might even be able to use the Zap, though they might be a little too low level to do that. Amber still needs to dump their party as well. I think they still have at least Clefairy in the party. Hmm. Yeah, just one Clefairy at least. Uh, there's that no other catches fun. after Moon. So, Amber might just wait until uh, the lure menu for Route 6 as well. But I think that's the one thing I want to perform doing now. The nice thing Amber has as an advantage here is higher attack means less chance for other Pokemon to hit you, and then that's less time that you need to heal. And that's a huge, like, it's the only thing that matters in this split. Yeah, yeah this is yeah. FKO. Yeah. Uh, she has attack. to go for double pick. Okay, should get it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and now he has to like, consider healing and like maybe use Oddish on the Sandshrew fight to heal. And that's slower than whatever Amber's gonna be doing. Which is probably just one see that fight. 
Well, it, it is slower in theory or in, in ideal situations for a book at the ideal outcome, but once seeing a sand true as Pikachu is always uh, at least a little bit risky. It's not really that risky. You have headbutt, so 30% of the time you just flinch. And you just flinch. Yeah, it's a little bit risky. It's not very risky, but speaking uh, as someone who's gotten, who's run out of antidotes by the end of Nugget Bridge, uh, you can always get poisoned by that Sentru. <laughs> like and that's going like to lose you time. The way I like to think about that fight specifically, and I think all the fights where Sand Attack is a risk for Pika, is like... You have the 30% of the time where nothing happens and you're free. So that's free real estate right there. That's 30% of the whole outcomes. You win. Yeah. Then of the 70%, what is it going to do? Sand attack or poison sting? Sand attack, 75% of the time after that, you're fine. So yeah. that's, uh, what is it? 35 times 70, another 21%. So you're already over 50%. You have a two turn fight without needing to heal. And then poison sting's only a 30% chance to poison. So you get like a 70-80% chance where you're just fine. And it's great. It's a good time. So just one see it every time. In my opinion. <laughs> this is the VGC world qualifier difference. I'm just getting scratched here. Uh, I mean, yeah, the only thing that you kind of have to keep in mind is Pikachu's HP. If you're very low, uh, this is a good opportunity to just heal it and not have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, and it's but if you're in green health, uh, I would I would also always want to see this fight. The yeah. like, there's a thing that you might not notice when you're playing this game that I'm sure like a couple of people in chat are kind of their minds blown by what I'm about to say. When you do catches and you catch a Pokemon and you level up, you get say you go from 14 to 16 maximum HP. You get those two points of HP, but you also yeah. get those points again a second time when you level up during catches. So you get healed a little bit extra during catches when you level up. So you can leave Nugget Bridge not at full health and enter Rival at full health just from level up bonuses from HP from catching, which is just bizarre to me. Yeah, it's a very strange It mechanic. is strange. I don't know if that's even intentional or if it's another like rounding error or something. Yeah, it might just be like a, a bug in like the way they did level ups. I don't know. Just what it works out. It's nice for the speedrun for sure. <laughs> Makes it a little bit safer. Uh, I think there's a point where the beginner notes had free heal in Viridian Forest. And that's just not true. Yeah. You get the HP back from the caches leveling you up. It's so interesting. Okay, I think Amber has. A good range on this. What level yeah. is that Pikachu? Seven team, I would say. Yeah. So, yeah. at their attack, this should be a good zippy zap range. Uh, yeah, good enough zippy zap range for the coughing. If you have low attack at level seventeen, you might need to headbutt it because you don't have a chance of knocking it out with zippy zap. At least it's at sixteen and got it. Very nice. Actually, he definitely needs to go for it, but here. Doesn't get the flinch, but also doesn't get smogged, so that's good. And, and then the second head, I will take it up. Yeah. Uh, nothing up top for Amber. I would expect none of the runners to go catch anything up there. Yeah. Okay. Nothing up there. Oh, go ahead. Uh, going oh. for knock skip. Okay. <laughs> just a little too fast there for the for the youngster. Oh, whew, that was Ooh, close. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, lines of sight of trainers, in case you hadn't noticed, are very thin and very uh, short in this game. So this that's why the last did not see Etchy in that situation. I also think it's just like, he wasn't low enough into the trainer vision. Um, yeah, exactly, because it's yeah. narrow. Yeah, Saiyan sees the Venonat, doesn't go for it. 
it's not far enough to to the right. There's just no incentive to go up there. It's a slow catch, and it breaks out a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think in the EV version, it's a lot better to go up there because you also have the opportunity to get Meowth. Yeah. yeah. In Pika, you just get Venonat. And the very noticed, rare Squirtle. Yeah, if they saw a Squirtle, they probably would have gone for it. But <laughs> Squirtle will be hype. Yeah. I don't think we've seen one this tournament so far, right? I remember last year, uh, Headbob got one of those Squirtles that only spawns the way on the way back. Dynam skipped a catchable Squirtle last year. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, that too. But not but... this year, I don't think. No Squirtles so far. <laughs> And it's never gonna lift that down. No, but you know what? It's a, a, an objective thing that happened, and I'm going to state that as a commentator who states objective things. So, I'm sorry. Uh, my first run of this game ever, I got a Squirtle, and I evolved it to War Turtle and used it on the Route 9 fights, and it felt very swag, and I've never gotten to do that again. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Okay, so Amber's, yeah, was, yeah, go ahead. Amber's like pretty far ahead now, like 15 yeah. seconds maybe. Which is as predicted because of their higher attack. Pikachu saved a couple of turns uh, along the way. Yeah, that's like all you can hope for in this split. It's just like getting good attack and skipping a couple turns or a couple like heal menus. It's just a frustrating split to run. It's nothing happens except bad things. Yeah. <laughs> None of our runners choosing to ditch Bill. I feel like this would be the wrong race to go for <laughs> that incentive anyway. Uh, much more likely to see that at our zero point race uh, on Friday. But yeah, everyone's just gonna make their way. See if anybody grabs down rod five on the way down. They should all have an idea if they have nat apps or not. I wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. Amber skips. I, I don't think. I've think... picked them up in a year or two. Yeah, I never picked them up either because I feel like. She skipped. It... It is quite unlikely to both not have nanaps and also an Abra to show up because that's the only reason why you would need nanaps at this point. This is the next Pokemon that you would catch with nanaps uh, so much later in the run that you definitely already just passively picked up a couple more. Yeah, it's like, it's interesting. It's also really interesting that Pokemon give you berries when you catch them. Yeah. <laughs> That's just an odd mechanic, but it's cool, I guess. I mean, maybe they just picked them up in the wild and they gave them to you as a gift or something. I don't know. They just, they, you just stole their snack. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> giving that up, Aries. Yeah, and you feed, you're feeding them to other Pokemon, not them. I mean, you could, you could at least feed it to the partner Pokemon. That's okay, the Pokemon are unionized with the Pokemon centers. They're taken care of. Very good. We love to see... A union. <laughs> Alright, everybody's gonna go on to Route 6, and since it's all Pikas, this is gonna be a very important catching section for everyone. We wanna see nice early Growlithe spawns. Maybe even some air breath. I want a Chansey. Oh yeah, that would be so funny. Chansey would be very good here. Okay, uh, Amber does not get an instant Growlithe. Uh, oh, puppy for Amber. Let's see, but Etchi also doesn't get it instantly. Oh, Amber runs into a rat. Not sure if they're gonna catch it. Uh, actually, they already have a rat, so they're not gonna do that. About on this rat. Uh, Etchi looking for puppy. It's a Jiggly uh, at least. Oh, Amber. Amber is just surrounded by rats. Also gets a Jiggly at least, but no Growlithe so far. That's unfortunate. 
You really are trying to get those to use it's, as a partner Pokemon. It's interesting because you all want a puppy, but if you all don't get a puppy, you're both you're all in the same boat, right? Like. Yeah, but I mean, Saiyan... True. Saiyan still has the chance to get a puppy here. Also does not get an instant one. This candy is pretty slow to grab. Uh, if you get an early Growlithe, you can skip it. Okay, so Saiyan now does get a Growlithe, which means that the other two really, really are hoping to also get one. To not she lose. She has a rat run on them. She's gonna go ahead and catch this. Okay, Amber is gonna reset the route here with the guardhouse to hopefully get a Growlithe after. They're, they're on a Jigglypuff chain now, so that's unfortunate, but... Come on. Yeah, oh, that's well, a Growlithe, a remember? Okay. Runs into another rat, though, which is yep. annoying. There is a puppy on the her, Amber, though. Yeah, it's running up, though. It's, it's, it's running away right now. <laughs> okay, wanted to cuddle with the other trainers on the rat. Uh, actually, uh, not seeing a puppy. Yeah, it's gonna move it's on It's gonna here. go. That's just what Canada does to a person, you know. <laughs> There's multiple opportunities to get a puppy. You can see one on the way back up. Uh, can see one on the way to Celadon. He's gonna have to hope his Oddish is fast, I think. It's what? What speed does it need to be? Uh, I don't know. I don't have it in my notes. I How's think, it like, done? 15 speed or something. To outspeed the Sand Shrew on uh, Route 9 bunch of rats mm. all blocking him oh, oh this is this really is, rough this is so annoying for the minion skip stick oh, at they're, the they're, they're heading into town with it with them so that's that's fine yeah it needs to for the ride. speed interesting so just have burned some rats okay maybe he'll lure on the way back up and candy the growlith or abra if he sees one um because you do have a flex candy in this route, uh, yeah. assuming you don't po candy the Ponita way later on. Um, he could make that gamble and just say, I don't want to miss the range on the Sandshrew and candy the Growlithe on the way back up. Yeah. You really want that Growlithe to hit level 18, especially in a race scenario, because the uh, low special attack Growlithe do tend to struggle with the fights on Route 9. You can lose like uh, upwards of like two minutes if you miss that range. Yeah, the center is really dangerous, uh, just in general to be out, but it has dig the sand attack. You can really waste your time and even kill your kill your Pokemon, which it's just so annoying. <laughs> so even though it's quite the time investment to lure again and then also use a candy, uh, it might still be worth it if you value that safety. Yeah. And it's also two Pokemon. Um, yeah. That's very valuable in this setting because the more you can get your your catch count up early, the more you can just walk through that into the game and skip things that you don't need. Definitely. You can still get the Growlithe later, so just for catch count purposes that would not be the end of the world to not get it on round six. It's just that then you you don't have a partner uh, for that nine. And also, getting the early Growlithe allows you to do the good Arcanine strat later, where you sacrifice the Growlithe on the third Jason James fight and then ride an unconscious Arcanine down round seventeen. <laughs> Well, it's not unconscious. You're riding it. It just doesn't have the will to battle. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's a nicer, nicer way of putting it. Look, sometimes I'm not unconscious, but I just don't have the will to do things. You know, I understand. <laughs> I get it. I would argue that's most of the time for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you get it. You're like an Arcanine. <laughs> I'm that Arcanine. <laughs> so true. <laughs> anyway, everyone's fighting the rival again. Uh, with Growlithe, this is a pretty straightforward fight. Ruzi piece up the Pidgeotto. I use an X attack here, and then the Growlithe comes with both Helping Hand and Flamethrower, two very, very good moves for this part of the run. I mean, Flamethrower is just really, really strong for a level, what is it, 17, 18 Growlithe. Um, Etchy's gonna have to. 
use that Oddish for these next fights. Yeah, Got through the rival fight pretty quickly, but yeah. He's gonna have to like plus four headbutt the gloom. That's rough. And like I don't, a little bit KOs. I don't think that's a good range, is it? Especially with neutral attack. Uh, no, I don't and think it's a great range. And zero AVs as well. He's gonna definitely wanna lure on the way back up to get that arm. Yep, that growl up. All right, everyone's gonna pick up uh, Chop down here. Honey cut. Honey cut. Yeah, for some reason they got they uh, they gave the special moves for Pikachu and Eevee the silliest names in this game, and then kind of ran out of juice and gave the HM stand and some very very <laughs> straightforward names like what do we have later on? Strong push instead of strength. Light up, the only one we don't get in the run. Yeah. It does exactly what it says, it lights up. I guess Sea Skim is kind of nice as a name. Sea Skim mm. is alliterative. Yeah, is that the that only one with alliteration? I actually don't know what Fly is called. I mean, Sky Dash. Top. Sky Dash? Yeah. Yeah. Like DoorDash, but Sky. Chelsea. Oh, and she, oh, oh no, 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 oh no. <laughs> This solves everything for Etchy for Route 9 at least. Wow. She's gonna get the Abra, get the Chansey so that the Abra evolves. Oh. And then he can use Kadabra for Route 9. This, this Huge for Etchy. Oh, oh, wow. So <laughs> okay. that's the, that's the uh, defending champ advantage right there. Saiyan also luring on the way back up, it looks like. Did I just Did see Saiyan that right? get anything other than the Growlithe? Uh, I'm not sure. He's actually gonna go for Psyduck, so maybe just a little underleveled for his taste. So, <laughs> actually Saiyan has to go for it. But I, I don't think it. I don't know if he got hey, that. Yeah, she's yeah, going for it. He's going for it. He is going for it. He has to go for it. <laughs> This is how Etchy got the world record in uh, Eevee version, just a Chansey on this route. Well, mind you, that was a Chansey with Wombo four times experience. This yeah, is it, not it, a was a, it was a glowing Chansey. I think it was he like level like 27 times. Okay, it's like, Saison, so that's good. Level 27 Boat Rival or something, it was absurd. Yeah. But that fixes the routes. Oh no! <laughs> that's so many levels though. <laughs> Uh, that's a couple of evos too. Not again. That's fine. The evos are fine. Yeah, the evos are uh, fine, I but the Etchy can actually go for cadaver strats now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the main takeaway from this. That's definitely also why he went for Chansey there to get the Abra evolved, even at the cost of having the Jigglypuff and the Rabbitoh over level. Uh, he didn't teach Red Attack Crunch. So oh no! <laughs> this is not also puts him into the position where, uh, oh, never mind, does the Rattata actually evolve from this? It does need four levels to evolve. Forget one Rattata evolves. I think it evolves at 22. Okay, in that case, I think it evolves at 21 actually. That's uh, Oh, at 20, okay. Yeah. Everything's um. wrong. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't evolve yet, but I think it does evolve from fight experience for Rod 10, so Etchy's either gonna have to one see something in Rod 10 or take something into the route that doesn't need any more experience. Uh, which is always unfortunate. I, if I were Etchy, I would probably deposit the Radata and go for Radicate, just because Raveler is not like a sure thing and it gives you a similar amount of experience um, on yeah. Rod 10. But of course, I'm not in the six point bracket right now, so what do I know? I'd say, I mean, he's at 22 already on the future now with the Chansey XP. Yeah. So that's a good starting off point for Route 10. I've left Route 10 yeah, level 22 for. He gets the puppy. Everything he wanted, just on the way back. <laughs> 
just in a little bit of a weird order. The nice, I don't know yeah. if it's in a shirt catch. With two grades, I think. Could it's be. pretty likely at least. Get on that Dynam. <laughs> Dynam or resident, catch chance checker. Yeah, it's, if Relative was at 20, it's just gonna go up now. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Not worth it to cancel now. Uh, two greats, nice, on uh, level 17 Growlithe Dynam. <laughs> that was the question. <laughs> Sorry for calling you out like that. Amber gonna spend one of their Moonstones on Jigglypuff. Uh, this is the only Moonstone Evo that does not learn any uh, move upon evolution, so it's the fastest one to use. So you use your spare Moonstone on. Don't know if any of our other runners, I know Amber's feed cut out for a moment there, but Amber did get double Moonstone on. Um, don't know if either of the other, if Echi and Saiyan got double Moonstone. I don't know either. I wasn't really paying attention at that point. So the grad was all but guaranteed with a nice 99.54%, though I do have to point out that I have gotten a grad to break out at that same exact uh, chance, I think. And we have had 1 in 60,000 breakouts because of a less than versus less than or equal to sign error in the code, so... <laughs> oh, oh very Amber's very... getting a pretty, r pretty rough out 10 there. You're the only the bird. Are they? Yeah, it was a Nidorino, uh, rat, and a bigger king. rat. Yeah. They're really hoping to get an Anavolf Nidor here, but I guess they could go for the Nidorino. Uh, it's just a little slower. Uh, Amber does not have Raticate yet. They picked up Rattata early. Well, I mean, at, at least that means that they can catch the Raticate then, but. Do they want to do that before they get the Nidos? Uh, to uh, Amber, I think it's just. Oh. Oh what, oh, what is this? Yeah, I think the Eradicate may despawn after this. If two Pokemon exactly overlap and you run into one of them, they sometimes. The other one sometimes despawns. I think there's a second Eradicate on the right. Yeah. Route. Let's see if that. But it looks like Amber's gonna go for uh, Thrush Strats here, so. Pikachu changes partner Pokemon here from Growlithe or Kadabra to one of the Nidos, ideally. Uh, if you catch an unevolved Nidoran male, you get Poison Jab on the Nidor King that you're going to evolve out of it. But the already evolved Nidorino does not have that, so you're going to have to rely on Thrash, which is a little slower and a little less consistent. Oh, the Raticate did not despawn. Actually, uh, Amber still wants maybe one more thing here, but can probably yeah. go. I mean, yeah, especially because they caught the Nidorino, so they already are one catch short. I uh, guess they could still get a Nidoran male and catch that one, uh, just to get that on the tracker. But I feel like something like Krabby or Nidoran Female would be really nice for them. Yeah. They could even still pivot to to Nidor Queen if they see a Nidoran Female. Yeah, which is arguably, arguably a safer strat than using Thrash. With the EXP though on the Nidor right now already, I wouldn't expect it. Yeah, me neither. I'm just saying it's a possibility. <laughs> I also need a queen right, stress just feel bad go. for some reason. 20 catches leaving. <laughs> a little low for my taste, but definitely fine. Saiyan might go back up just to check. See if, like, yeah. Abby or Nina and Pino. Just check or say. I think he got a decent Rotten at least. Did get an Iron Male. Yeah, everyone but uh, Nidor and female and Krabby. Okay. No Raticate yet, either. It might be worth it for oh, him to go back up. It's a little did slow. Did catch an early rat? No, a rat on this route, actually, I think. Okay. Oh, in that case. Okay, let's see for uh, Etchy, Spiro. Yeah. 
gonna go for the spear roll here instantly. Yeah, oh yeah, it's going for one ski. I was uh I was bringing this up earlier. Actually has to once he catch the Spiro here, since he cleared his party entirely. He does get it to stay and it's not guaranteed, even with the Raz. Uh once he catches R, a lot less consistent than two C catches. The interesting thing uh Amber will have to note is to learn Thrash here. Okay. And then Helping hand rather than being in slot one, will be in slot three for the rest of the run. Yeah. Sain is going back up here, gets into the female, so that's perfect for him. I'm not sure, like something purple spawn in the upper right corner for Echi. It might be a Nidoran mm -hmm. male or a Nidorino. I think it was another saw... Nidorino. It was fairly large. That's unfortunate. I, think I saw a Nidoran male. I, I just saw Nidoran. purple and like pointy ears. <laughs> I think I saw it on the left side. I guess we'll see in a second here. Was okay, no, there's Chansey. It was yeah. Chansey again. No, we were all wrong. I feel like you're, at some point you just, even though the chain is no longer active, once you get a Chansey, you get multiple Chanseys that run. <laughs> oh, this is a very jumpy inhibitor we know. Yeah, it has one of those catch cycles where Amber you don't like, really want to throw. The route here. Okay, gets the new run female right oh. there. Perfect. Oh, so I think Amber is good to leave now. Um, yeah. No Krabby, but that's kind of a bonus Pokemon. Yeah, and it also takes four levels to evolve and learns a move in there. So it's not necessarily that fast. So Plus, in Pikachu, you really have to... Sorry. For, um, no, you're in good. Pikachu, you really have to... Uh, manage your party very actively in Rock Tunnel because you're gonna lump around <laughs> Pikachu, Nidorino and the Raihan that you're gonna catch in there. You really only have three free slots and if you already have a Krabby, there's two more spawns in Rock Tunnel that also take four levels to evolve and then you don't really have any other slot to evolve anything else. So uh, not getting the Krabby is not a huge loss. I think Echi is actually just good to go as well. Yeah, I don't think he will return. Uh, Sain got an instant grappler, I think, in Rock Tunnel, which is always nice. Grappler uh, gives a lot of experience. Another one of those situations where you catch the Geodude early instead of catching in here where it's one level from evolving because it both is good for experience in the early game to get to level 15 for Missy. And now another good bit of experience, actually the best bit of experience that you usually get in Rock Tunnel as Graveler. And they're both relatively simple catches. Yeah. I mean the Geodude usually, if you get the good cycle at least, it's a free excellent. Uh, and Graveler you sometimes have to be a little bit careful about. And it also, if you don't dress, has a small chance of breaking out, even with a double great ball excellent. Um, but all things considered, pretty consistent, pretty easy catches. But yeah, all three of our runners are gonna look for a Rhyhorn in there as well to ride, of course. Uh, Sane did not get one, actually also not before this Slowpoke fight. Amber cut the bush and got the backup Great Bolts. Mm, got some bad spawns here, going into Rakana. Sane... Did Sane catch Grappler? It's not Mark. I'm curious what he did catch. Amber going for a bat. The 
Okay, yeah, we'll see Saiyan party menu here, I think. Or box menu. There's so much going on, they're all in tunnel at the same time, this is so hard to follow. If only one of them went and got light up. <laughs> oh, returning to you get... Machop? Yes. Sometimes a little hard to see in the darkness. Sometimes I think Machop is Charmander. Yeah. Depending on the angle, it is quite hard to tell. But anyway, saying it's a right horn, very nice. And it increases movement speed. The earlier you get that, the better. that she gets here. This floor is always a good spot to get some spawns. Uh, as she gets a graveler, also very, very good for him. Ooh, Amber <laughs> can't dodge that go bad. That's some erratic movement right there. Amber will be the first runner today in this race to see a Kangaskhan, I think. Yep. There I mean, is. there it is. <laughs> no wild tanks can so far. Oh, actually, boss is gonna go for thrash threads. Very interesting. No one likes Nidoqueen, Queen. Apparently. I am scared of Echi's HP. Because he's hasty, he's minus defense, and he has this King's oh. Trainer coming up. Mm hmm. That is risky. We'll see how he handles it. He's just gonna flinch with Headbutt on turn two. That's the goal, I think. Yeah. Amber now also gets Graveler. Still looking for a Raihorn though. Okay, there we go. Sand's getting the Graveler. She about to start the Kangaskhan fight. It should be fine. Amber, so does anyone have... Is... Oh, sorry, yeah, go ahead. Oh, Amber's just level 26 on Pika. Eshi's right there as well, I think 26. Saiyan's 25, so they're all doing pretty well on XP. Yeah, you generally want to be at least level 25 leaving Rock Tunnel. So they're all in a pretty comfortable spot here. Uh, I forgot now, what, did any one of them actually get a Nidder King with Poison Jab? Uh, no. Uh, Saiyan has that. Well, Saiyan has it, you're right. Yeah, I, I, I felt like there was at least one of them. Then two Thrashers. <laughs> Nice, saying it's the flinch. Means that Pikachu will remain slightly healthier. So saying can probably do the non-heal fight against uh, Ace Trainer. I think Sophia is her name. Yep. In that fight, you can either either use an X attack early uh, and then use. A heal item, uh, or you can just rely on helping hand from the Nido. If you feel like you just have Good cycle. You love to see it. So yeah, Amber? Amber. Right? Yeah, Amber's the only one without a Rhyhorn now. Looks like Amber 
we're still looking for Machop and a Rhyhorn in here. Uh, Saiyan's still looking for Machop. Yeah, the Machop doesn't get a lot of experience or anything, but it is exclusive to Rakana for this uh, for this run at least. So you do kind of want to get it. And actually, still looking for a Zubat. It looks like. Which he can get in tower as well. Yeah. Zubat is another one of those. Low XP get catches, but at least it evolves within a level, though it does learn try to learn two moves on level up. Or I guess more accurately, one on level up and one on Evo, which just happens in the same sequence. Amber one seeing this fight. Oh that also works, I guess, with high, high attack. Didn't even think about that. Yeah, no burn, so luckily he keeps the like good attack, special attack menu going. Well I say luckily, but it's like, you know, 90% chance. Yeah. Um, have anything happen. I guess att high attack doesn't actually have anything to do with it. You can just do it at any attack really. Uh it's just the question of do you want to risk the burn or do you already need to heal so might as well combine it with a 2C fight. Yep, and still looking for that Rhyhorn. Last chance on this floor for Amber to get a Rhyhorn. Nope, that's Graveler, that's on oh, it. There it is. That's the Rhyhorn. There we go. Better late than never. And she now also and Sophia is gonna do the 2C strat. But using the help the helping hand uh, variant of the strat. It's not gonna heal or anything. Peach using green health, uh so it should be fine for the rival for fight. Yeah. And then you can just heal after. And I believe that she has a good special attack, because he one-shot the coughing way back when with Thundershock. So the uh, the Pidgeotto will be easy. Uh, what is that? That's a rare That's char. That's a rare char! Yeah. Yeah, you, you, it's really nice to get if you already have Ultra Balls. Uh, less so if not. Because even with the Rouse and two Great Balls, that's still pretty likely. Oh no, Hussein playing with Pikachu. <laughs> uh, Charmander just stays in, very nice. Good extra catch to get. Will evolve within a level, so... Very good. Uh, also just very rare, of course. It does look like... Uh, Amber will be leaving without the chop. And actually, might be leaving without Zubat. Which, if you got the rare char, oh, that's. Oh, Etchy on Onyx spawning right on Etchy. Please don't catch it, Etchy. I already had ultras, like, you can go for it. It's not the worst. Yeah, already, already, I mean, you already used one. Oh, actually, trying to go for that Zubat behind the spinner. This oh, is some. Oh, God, this is so oh. dangerous. <laughs> I can't tell what direction they're looking. It's so bad. I have, I have oh, definitely actually... hit the boy at the bottom before because I just can't see him. Me yeah. too, yeah. I just did him recently while degressing for the first time ever. Yeah, I guess it's nice to get the Zubat here. Uh, actually, actually, you will have to think about his Ultra Ball account now because he already used to. Oh yeah, he's uh, definitely picking up a 5 stack. Yeah. Usually you only pick up another stack of three Ultra Balls in Pokemon Tower, so that would mean eight in total on top of the five ones that you get from Sophia. Uh, but there is another five stack in Hideout, which is a little bit out of the way. Uh, which is a nice backup, but obviously it's lower. Actually about to have Sophia and Amber in the Thirty-three, thirty-three, and thirty. Yes, same. I think 
has had a pretty good run now, uh, recovering from his experience situation uh, earlier. Yeah, I think Saiyan is in command at this point. Yeah. Has probably, I would say, a minute lead on Amber and a couple minutes on Echi. And also has Poison Jam. Oh yeah, it's gonna come in huge. I mean, this works well for my pick camps. <laughs> It's also going to have the advantage with Poison Jab that uh, he's not going to see a metronome. I'm not sure if Thrash one-shots the the fairy. It does not, but you don't have to click A to select the next one. Oh, I guess that's nice. Yeah, so it's a little bit faster than Pikachu using Zippy's app. Or Headbutt. Yeah. So yeah, usually uh, if you're running with another king, you use the uh, menu right after this cutscene that Amber's on to swap the nether king into slot one in your party if you haven't already done that. Uh, and then you can also heal because you're already in the menu and escape rope right out of here. Of course, if you're already in green health on everything or close to full health, you don't even need to heal. When are we going to see it in the metronome? Two of the Arbor Hearts will see metronome. Yeah, I mean, Amber is going to go into that fight pretty soon here after this cutscene. Sane was just going to one turn it with the uh, Poison Jab, so that's going to be boring. I bet we see Minimize or Sand Attack. Oh, Minimize would be so annoying. Imagine them being locked into Thrash and missing it like two times in a row or something. <laughs> If it misses, it cancels for us. Oh, it cancels, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Skull Bash. Skull Bash. <laughs> Missed it though, so. <laughs> well, Skull Bash is a two turn move that makes oh, okay. your defense turn one, and then second I turn see. deals damage. Um, It was like. Blastoise's move back in Gen 1 or something. Oh, there's an Arcanine. Oh. Arcan Wild Arcanine. It's like 1% spawn. Yeah, that's a 1%. If you didn't get Growlithe back then, you could have gotten it now. I would not recommend going for that Arcanine, I think. I don't think it's very uh, consistent to catch. Anyway, yeah, uh, Pika just cuts the bush there every time to pick up the Firestone to evolve the Growlithe that you basically always catch anyway, so uh, it's worth it to grab the early Firestone instead of waiting for Mansion. And... Whoop. I'm just head on over to set it on. Echi coming up on the Clefairy fight. We're gonna see one more metronome here. We also get a last chance for an Abra. Uh, There's an Abra. Take it. Amber is going to go for the Abra. <laughs> Just yeah. dive bomb the thing. From behind, so it's kind of taking the long way around to get to it. Yeah, if it sees you coming, it's going to despawn. It's the only Pokemon that does that. But it's definitely a good catch here for Amber. Even though they'll have to walk around the ledge again to get back to Celadon. Yeah, I think that's worth it. That is a good catch and helps catch up on the catch count. For sure, yeah. Um, notably... Oh, Paragon on Saiyan screen! <laughs> Tentacle is now on plan for Amber, thankfully. Oh, oh no, not the Paralysis! And she got Thunder Wave? Status lag? Okay, does hit it. Must He had to have gotten Glare. Yeah, Thunder Wave Glare, yeah. Graphics. Yeah, Glare. That's the only way you can paralyze them. That's so annoying. I'm just gonna have to hear that off. Another Arcanine! <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Two Arcanines and a oh. Pork. No! no. Oh. What does this have? 
I wanted to dodge the Arcanine. I have no clue what this trainer has. I don't think it's a good fight. Two, two Mons, a Kadabra. Oh, He's oh have a man. Yeah, better to see this. His Nita King's paralyzed, it can't deal with this. Yeah, gosh. Uh, and she's just gonna 2C this fight. Wow! I think I actually thought maybe <laughs> he was just out of the line of sight there. And Amber's got a freeze frame going. There we go. Maybe. Oh. Uh. Well, everything's coming up same. This is just a reminder to everyone out there. If you have a dog or know a dog, go and hug your dog. Or the dog you know, if they are comfortable with hugs and would appreciate it. Just a PSA. Love yeah. dogs. <laughs> Amber is also at a disadvantage on the Rhyhorn because the Rhyhorn is going to be level 24 now. Yeah, you do want that at level 25 for the second Jesse and James fight here in Hideout. Uh, it, I mean, it's the first in, in Hideout, but second overall. Because um, it's just way more consistent of a fight if it's level 25. Way more likely to hit some of the ranges, or really the one range that matters. Which is another advantage of getting Rhyhorn early, ideally before you catch the Graveler in, uh, in Rock Tunnel. So you can benefit of that huge chunk of uh, XP. Edgy's just getting Pidgeys on Route 7. No Paragons, no Abras, though I guess he already has an Abra, so that's fine. The funny thing with... Ahead and set the nature. Oh yeah, that's right, they do that. Yeah, I don't want to... Don't want to forget that. Actually having a little extra bonus money because of the spinner. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but is now down the Shallower Sable, um, which is not good. Oh yeah. No. But I guess that would have been the case whether you hit the spinner or not, because that happened from the metronome. Yeah. Um, yeah, you would have we'll had to use that regardless. We'll have to adjust this menuing a little bit, I think. Yeah, that's going to mess up got menu, that's true. I wonder if it would have been worth it to go get early tea to fix the menu. Probably not, but... Early tea, yeah. Hmm. I don't know if Brock is there yet. I think you have to you have to do something more in the story for Brock to be there. I think you have yeah, to like finish hideout. the hideout section. Okay. Funny thing with Thrash, if you finish a battle and it's a two turn Thrash, you still get confused. <laughs> so Amber just That's got nice. that. <laughs> so it's just an extra text box. Unfortunate. I think Etta was running uh, Thrash Crocodile in Scarlet Violet, and you get the animation for it too. No. Oh. So it's just slow. Imagine a world where we could turn animations off in Scarlet Violet. Oh, it would be so good. The world I want to live in. It yeah. Looks so awkward. All of the speedruns would shorten in length so drastically. <laughs> you know, also shortens your speedruns in length drastically. Not, Not playing off of yes. <laughs> exactly. I wonder if there's anybody in chat or on this call who has done this before <laughs> and is now reaping benefits of like a minute or two time saves every run. <laughs> um, I the D rust that I sent you a few a uh, few days ago, Sandy. That was a. Uh... That was off the OBS preview. Oh, goodness. I was too lazy to set up my external monitor. It was also with my Joy-Cons dying in the middle of the Giovanni fight here. Oh, that's great. That's yeah, fun. That was cool. Dear everyone, uh, Joy-Con charging grips are only like $25. They're a great investment, especially if you buy third-party Joy-Cons. 
Uh, Sane is venting right now, uh, understandably. Amber also about to vent. That she is going to vent soon, I'm sure. Hopefully. And I just saw he had 68 attack on his Nido King. So. I don't know if he can just click Thrash on the That's... run attack. Uh, I don't know how that works with Thrash. If if it was Poison Jab, then yeah, you can skip the X attack. I think you don't even... No, I think you always have to X attack with Thrash. He could just get lucky. Yeah, um, yeah, right. You can also gamble for the three hit Thrash. That's true. Because it's three hit, and then the third turn, it's 70% to hit through anyways. So like, mm. you could just go for it. And I think that's worth it at this point. Let's see what he chooses to do. No, he is going to use the X attack. Oh, I almost used X special because the god menu yeah. is gone. It's better odds than a Hydro Pump. Come on. You know I'm right. Hey, you don't have to convince me. I'm, I'm not playing. actually right now. I know he's listening. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just spinner pads. The... The best thing that we've seen so far this past week on Pokemon Speedruns TV. Spinner pads are the best thing. Yeah. Nobody's hit a wrong spinner pad ever on this channel. Oh. <laughs> I see, yeah. Definitely never happens, especially not in Giovanni's gym. No, exactly. Okay, they're gonna start J and J. Do they both give you right one? I think so. Yeah, I definitely saw Amber swap over already before the grammar fight. So they're definitely gonna use uh Rockhorn. Yep. And then Sane has the 25 Rockhorn, so really no reason not to use it. This has a chance of just one shutting the Arbuck and the Weezing each with the run. Um, that's actually what we're trying to get. Instead it gets fully paralyzed. <laughs> Amber gets the one shot with a level 24, so that's good. That's huge, uh, it's, yeah. It's 25 mid fight. 52 attack, that's pretty good. Yeah, should probably be able to one shot the Weezing as well now. Just has to remember that Helping Hand is in slot 3. Yeah. We're just gonna do the X attack. All good. Yeah. X attack works too. Oh no, it doesn't, doesn't hit that. That's awesome. unfortunate. That's gonna swap over to Stomp and probably Thrash, I guess, yeah. Since usually you would use Poison Jet there, right? Not with this Nidoh. Nope. Anyway, they're both getting out of the fight simultaneously, but of course, Hayne is to catch his head, so roughly a minute. Yeah, they're really yeah. synced right now. Yeah. Um, because Saiyan had a bad fight, Para first turn from Glare, and then miss the second turn. Also gonna have to hear the Nino King here, which Emma does not have to do. And she's done in the vents. He's such a hard worker in the vents, you know? That's where he spends most of his time. <laughs> now i also gonna go toward that Justin James fine. Hitting that optional has put him behind quite significantly. Especially because he was already a little bit behind after Rakshana. Okay, Amber's not getting ratioed by the minus special attack here. That's good. Attack, oh my goodness. Hi. All right, time for James. Even with the optional, uh, Echi is still only one fight behind uh, our other two runners. Well, yeah, like two fights behind. Oh, now they all have zero Pokemon. Oh, no, okay, they're back. 
Yeah, that happens sometimes. You'll get used to it. Um, yeah, he's not in the worst position. Uh, he'd just be in, like, a better position. He would be one fight behind if he didn't have the optional, really. Yeah. Let's hope he at least gets a good JNJ here. His run was also level 25, so a pretty good chance. Also doesn't get glared. Oh, misses the range though, just barely. But on the Clara, Arbok. Clara Nido King is not healable at this point. So... Oh, that is unfortunate, that's true. Yeah, he's gonna deal with that status like and can't use Helping Hand uh, safely. Yeah. Which makes the Giovanni fight really awkward. I'm mean, interested to see how he's gonna try and get around that. He's still using Helping Hand here, doesn't get punished for it. Takes out the Weezing. Amber's Abra falls. Very nice. Gonna finish off the Geo fight here. Not with that butt, with the double kit. <laughs> He's at least gonna heal the HP of Nether King, even though he can't heal the paralysis. I always wonder if it's worth it for Nether King to faint there to heal the paralysis. Uh, did she sell the revives? No, you don't sell the revives. That's probably worth it then, actually. I mean, you get the you can get the switch in. It's really slow, but it's like yeah. you could just get ratioed on Geo twenty five percent of the time. And yeah. Zero attack AVs. It's definitely gonna be an interesting geo fight for Edgy, that's for sure. Really yeah, gonna help not to get paralyzed. Really paralyzed by this. Do it. Okay, Pikachu's fine. No, he can't. He's gonna have to, like, even at plus six, he cannot reliably take out the Rhyhorn. So he's gonna have to hope that Nether King does not get fully paralyzed when trying to use Helping Hand against the Rhyhorn. Oh, well, it's level 30 now, so, like, that'll help the range. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But you don't want that Rhyhorn... You don't want the Rhyhorn to use the run on you. And we're grabbing the extra 5 stock. Tain does not believe he can hit the plus two helping hand range on Weezing with this Pikachu. That doesn't surprise me, it's a sassy Pikachu, and I don't think it's going to hit 30. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's just level 28, okay. I think so you can keep just, it. Actually, just going for the 70% here. Yeah. I mean, he I has mean, to. Three out of four times, it works every time. <laughs> I guess he could do something like withdraw the Growlithe, but then that would get experience, it would take time, it's, it's a bad situation. Keeps trying to use X special attacks here because uh, there's no more guard menu. Also, it's going to run out of X attacks here. Yeah, so he will have to use uh, Rapidash later. Or pick up the spare X attack in tower. He does not believe in picking up that spare X attack. That okay. is not an item in his vocabulary. I don't even know in that where case, it is in game. <laughs> it's, you know, um, the Amber's item just going to pass it right now. There it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> never picked uh, up. Yeah, I mean, neither. But it is there if you really need it and you don't want to get locked into using Fire Blast and Blue. <laughs> there it goes, Pikachu. Um, I think actually still okay. Yeah, the run is very low. Should that a thrash here? Thrash and or draw run. <laughs> well, actually, he's just gonna go for the draw run. His right horn might be slower. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. not. He should be going to Charmeleon and using Dragon Rage. Okay. Or go Charmeleon has less than 40 HP left, yeah. 
Oh, this is so rough, Let's go to use seismic dust there. Seismic dust, probably. Was that? I thrash? mean, this didn't kill. What? Oh, it's thrash. <laughs> oh no, it was oh, just okay. slow. Okay. Uh, well. Uh, well, there is a max revive in this room that Etchy can pick up, uh, so that would be an extra revive. Yeah. Also, I mean, everything that died, except the Pikachu, of course, doesn't need any more XP. So I don't think he necessarily needs to pick up the max revive. He can just uh, revive the Pika and, and that's it. Yeah, I think there's, I think there's only up. one fight after this before we get a completely free heal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you do still need the Pika to be alive for that, but... Yeah. Uh... But we have the menu after this anyway to uh, use yeah. Sky Dash, so... Yeah. Just he doesn't to, uh... have to get those five balls, I'm sure. I mean, he basically has to, I think. Yeah, he's going for it. So Pokemon Tower, everyone's looking for a Ghastly. I believe Sane already got one. Uh, yeah, he did a Ghastly. Yep. Amber's also got a Ghastly. Perfect. And then if you don't have a cube on yet, there is a chance that you get one here. 10% likely to spawn if something spawns at all, which is the bigger problem in Tower. Things tend not to show up in general. And it looks like all of our runners did get a Keybone. So, not looking out for those Tower Keybones this time. Which means they're definitely going to show up. Hey, I had a useful Tower Keybone in my last run, so... Wow. Yeah, it was on the race. It was pretty cool. It does happen. <laughs> that I didn't get a, get a Ponita, so that's fine. It all it's, worked out in the end. It's great. Let's yeah, Ember is skipping the three sec here uh, of uh, Ultra Balls that you can pick up in Tower because they already picked up the five stacks and hideout, the five stack and hideout. So just in total, uh, a gain of two balls by going for those back up ones and hideout. And it notably loses a few more seconds, but it can be worth it just to like have this a lot safer catches at the end. Yeah. Especially if you need something like Magmar. And with skipping the 3 sec, I think it, it's fine. The little bit of extra time loss is fine in general. Because if you have to pick up both, that's when it's a little annoying. Alright, she's going to revive the Pikachu here, as predicted. Actually, I think maybe forgot about it because you only just now did a separate menu for it. So it's now going to be locked into Fire Blast, or I guess Magmar Flamethrower. Or Ghastly Shadow Ball, assuming it's Liver. Or at least level 30. <laughs> Haunter Shadow Ball, sorry. Uh, level 30 always KOs with Modest. That's interesting. That, that's a calc I didn't know. It is a calc that I ran oh. the other night, and <laughs> I'm not telling you why I ran that calc. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thing that I know now. <laughs> That's another one of those niche strats that are gonna happen like once every 1,000 runs. Oh, I'm cooking. Oh, you're cooking? I'm cooking something else. I'm cooking oh. a new world record route. I so see. So you'll see it in like two years. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Oh, power up for Amber. That's what happens when you love your Pikachu. It rewards you by expelling poison. Very nice. Saves you really no time at all, because the time it takes to expel it is the time that it would take to tick next turn anyway. <laughs> but it saves status lag. I guess that's true. Yeah, Amber... Did hit 30, so this fight is actually bearable for them. If you don't hit 30 and a minor special attack Pikachu, this fight can become quite dangerous. So good for them that they did hit 30. Could be through it here. Yeah. Yeah, there's she also skipping the three stack. There's a yeah. little difference between Amber and Saiyan right now. 
And there's like a couple minutes between both of them and Edgy right now. Because of everything that's happened. Yeah, I think Sans is still like a minute ahead here. A little less maybe, but... Yeah. Uh, catch up also already on the faster menu here, so... A leg up on Ember. But anything can happen, you know, you can get to Route 21 and uh, Star just refuses to show up for 90 seconds and send the Ambrose in the lead again. Which I think has only happened once so far this year, which is pretty good. Yeah, I keep saying it's because I'm not in the tournament. <laughs> happened to me twice last year. It's fine. It, things will show up. But things will yeah. show up in a way that benefits my pick -em specifically. There's no prize for pick -ems as far as I know. But no, I didn't get anything last year. I want to win. <laughs> it does feel nice to win pickups. And that's why I believe in myself every round, because if I'm not believing in myself, then what am I doing in this tournament? I am in it to win it. I am going to take down everyone. Let's see. Sans got T. Are you good? What does you to do there on Route uh, 16 or whatever it is? Yeah, I think it's 16. Uh, not sure if he's going to go for it though, cutting down that bush still slow. Rule of thumb, if you see... Are they going to wrap? Yes. Okay, then... Yeah. yeah, it's probably not worth it, unless there's like something else in there that they can go for. Yeah. Rule of thumb is if you see two things that you still need to... You... Now, if there's a probably go for in it. there... Uh, I do think Saiyan should cut the bush, because Saiyan does have all three of the Pidgeys marked. Yeah. Um, notably, Saiyan's the only one with Tentacle still planned. So, if Pidgey doesn't show up, Tentacle will be a catch that he has to do. Our Saiyan uh -huh. can just cut the entirety of the Pidgey line. They do have 50 to be planned. Yeah. But then you, oh, <laughs> then you have to go for uh, Tentacruel, which is bad. <laughs> we don't like that at all. Same uh, heard the oh. pony saw. All the way <laughs> back at the beginning, but hey. Already an Arcanine back, so... Pretty easy to just turn around. Alright, Ember also reaching about 17 here. Rapid. That's a rapid dash. Big pony. Yeah, we need little pony. Oh, that's Pidgey. Perfect. Saints still have Pika in the menu. I'm not sure why. Oh, main. I don't think Saiyan deposited or anything after J and J. Yeah. If Pico was the only thing that needed to go, it can be worth it to just keep it around. Yeah, she's doing the same. There's no deposits. Yeah. I didn't see what else was in Saiyan's party. Uh, a couple of things that need to be evolved in Arc Nine. Okay. Yeah. In that case, doesn't necessarily make sense to deposit. Side for Ember. But again, you really want that pony and the, the duo, though I guess, well, for Echi, the duo is actually not that important. He's still one and four, the catch count, obviously, but he's yeah, definitely really... not going to use a uh, drill pack, so. I'd rather catch a do duo than a tentacle. Okay. Oh, for sure. Yep. <laughs> Everyone hates tentacle as a catch in this game. It just floats aimlessly back yeah. and forth. And it mucks you with its tentacles. <laughs> yeah. It's like Squidward. Alright, no one forgot the tea. Actually, I see a Pidgey up there. 
energy and rat. There's something else there too. It's the uh, Edgy have Pidgey already? No. Uh, Edgy does. No, have she does Pidgey. have Pidgey. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so not worth it to go up there, even if there's a third thing that's Dodo or whatever. Pony can't spawn there, so I think Dodo would be the only other thing. Interesting. I'm not 16. Was there a second Rapidash that spawned for Amber in the back? Either way, goes for the Dodo now. And then she's gonna go out onto Rat 17. Or was it Dodrio? <laughs> um, Sam getting everything they need on. 17 except for the Pidgey. Oh, they got the. I oh don't know. They did not get the Pidgey. But I guess you can cut it. We talked about that earlier. We'll now have to go for Tentacle. Interestingly. Okay, yeah. There they go. Is updating to Tentacle on the tracker. I was like, yep. Tentacle was unmarked and Pidgeys were marked. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's interesting. You would have to I mean, go get Pidgeotto and then go get Route 1 Pidgey. Yeah. Or get Pidgey and mm -hmm. just make sure your catches are good after that point. Amber, that's the third Rapid Ash for Amber and still no Ponyta. I think Amber's gonna repel and lure again. Yeah. Oh, if they yeah. still have. No, just going oh, just gonna go for Rapid Ash. This sucks to catch, but you need it. <laughs> this does solve Amber's uh, odd catch count issue, at least. Oh, that's something. Waits for the attack here very patiently. Wanna get that excellent on us. Unicorn. Meanwhile, Saiyan picked up C Skim. It's so gonna go out onto Rat 21 soon. So Amber only has two catches left. Star you and Grimer. Uh Saiyan has three left. Star you. Tentacle and Grimer. And Echi is looking for this duck. Staryu, Grimer, and Doduo. Can get Tentacle if he misses Doduo. Okay, so no one's gonna be in big, big trouble and have to go for some silly things like Magmar or Tangela. Saiyan might if he doesn't see a Tentacle, but that's so rare. Like, when do you not see a Tentacle? That's yeah. all you see on this route. I literally had that happen the other day, Sandy. You were in my chat when that happened. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, there's a star. There's a star. Oh, that's the bad position. Uh, it's gonna get the tentacle first. Are there any spinners up there? Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't think so. The good cycle on the tentacle there as well. Should be safe. Yeah, Severus, excellent with, uh, with an Ultra Ball is. Pretty safe, even with one controller. So now the question is, what's the star going to be for saying? Do the rich get richer, or...? This is a 998 star. I'm calling it now. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. 1075. 1075. Perfectly serviceable. Then I guess... Work? Yeah. We'll know more once the star menu happens. I think Echi is just looking for. Oh, actually, it's actually cut no duo. Okay. So I think Etchy's just done here. I don't think. Oh I... yeah. Yeah. He just needs Star and Grimer at this point. And I think he'd rather just get a Grimer catch. So I don't think it learns a move on level up. Uh, it does not. Yeah, I mean, if you're already set on not using Drill Pack. Then Grammar, definitely the better catch. Saiyan Star is pretty good. 
Oh yeah. Now for Amber, also gets a early star here. Let's see. It is. And 57. And 57. The mm, same 30. exact digits, just a little just... bit rearranged. Yeah. Let's hope it's also well distributed. That was also a good side throw. It was like sort of not quite in the side throw range, but it was still an excellent. There is duck for Amber. All right, Ember does not need a tentacle on this route, so they can just continue onward to Mansion to pick up the Grimer. Yeah, I think if you like run into one, you do catch it, but I guess you're not so. Yeah. Your way for it. Yeah. And she now also hits Route Twenty One. So many tentacruels. Oh no, not oh, the Starmie! <laughs> no, oh, it's no. the Starmie! No, don't go for Starmie! <laughs> for it, what it's worth, it looks like he should have been able to get behind it. Yeah. Alright, what's the star? 1042. So Worst one so far. Stars. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's see. For Amber. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. The speed might be a little bit of an issue, but... If you got a 46... Yeah. You're actually we'll getting it. a breakout on the star. When you regular rest it, yeah. I think. Uh, well. Saves in the second time. Minimal time save, but because Amber caught the Rapidash, Amber doesn't need to pick up another candy, whereas the other two racers will need to pick up another candy later on. Uh, depends. If you're gonna candy the Lapras or not, right? Saiyan did at least. Yeah, Saiyan did, so we'll have to pick up the Lapras candy. I think Echi will have to. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Depends on if the Grimer is big or not. I think he'll, he'll have to. There's a Magmar. Don't need it though. She's doing the star menu. So we're about to see what her stats are on that. That's gonna evil the pony. Not very good stats on this pony. <laughs> Luckily, the stats really don't matter. Unless you get a really bad Caden and have to rely on Stomp. Staying through Ted. Mastido. It is 10% in the basement. Or it should be. <laughs> Never when I play AOP, but that's a different issue. It's the same odds as Tower Cubone. You're gonna see it all the time. Yeah, sure. I definitely see Tower Cubone all the time. I did not look at the star stats for Etchy at all, by the way. I'm sure someone in the chat was looking at it. I was distracted by the Magmar on Saiyan screen. I tried to peek at the they have star stats. Okay, low special attack, but still a speed, so that's good. Okay.
Yeah, you do want to uh, be, have the speed be at a certain point. Like there's three Pokemon that you can t potentially don't outspeed if you're really slow. Uh, but outside of that, special attack is very much the most important stat for this army. Oh, uh, did Amber's Gravash get paralyzed? Yeah. yeah. That's not matter at all. I don't think it does. Uh, oh, well, it depends on whether they have to fire blast or not. Uh, no. In that case, I don't think it matters at all since they'll. I think they've got the extra X attack still. So I remember seeing yeah. four going at Giovanni. Yeah, in that case, they won't use the Rapidash as a partner again uh, before the next tree heal. Etchi, on the other hand, would need to heal the Paralysis with the Pewter Crunchies. Does still have the Burn heal from earlier, so could still heal a uh, Blaine Burn. Amber has that a Ditto as well. Um, There's a Muck as well. Etchi can't heal the Paralysis with the Pewter Country because he has to have it for the Confusion. Computer. That's, that's right. So, I guess bed here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Better idea anyway. No, time does not matter for third. Um, only second. But I guess DNFing is bad for our tiebreakers. Also, people can still, you know, get crit and die. So, say I'm now through bling at 45. I'm just doing the quiz at 46 right now, so saying so in the lead, but Amber is still in striking distance. This is still in bad archer distance. Yeah, it was a sub to Blaine for Saiyan. Which is huge for her race. Yeah, but just, so I mean, Saiyan has been on fire this tournament. Not a single bad race, so... That's what, 3-0-0 pace probably or something around there? <laughs> Incredible. Um, oh, Etchy. <laughs> He does that. He gets so close to that with that trainer vision. So close. <laughs> People are scared of it. He's not scared of it. He's edgy. He's <laughs> he's not afraid of anything. Sayan at 46, Amber at 46, Etchi at 45. Yeah. What is the one Etchi's... that Etchi's behind? Oh, it's Golduck. Oh no, it's... Golduck and Pidgeotto. Where are... What's the one that... Yeah, it would be Golduck. Yeah, um... At this point, Etchi is still in the race because... Stuff happens. I don't... think, aside from Giovanni, that Amber or Saiyan will, like, go for two C-strats, unless both of them do. But it's like... You might just be close enough anyways, where you can't do it. So I don't know, this is an interesting race. Very close. But a lot of these races have had this happen, this dynamic, where the two people are racing for first, and the third person's racing for second, or first, depending on what happens. 
And the two people in front are generally like considering the game theory of doing 2C. Because if my opponent does 2C and we both do 2C, then the lead should remain. But it's like, it's hard to do, and it's like 20, 30 seconds difference there. And then you also have to take into account the chance of like one of you dying if you're doing 1C. And it's just it's so hard to balance those things together. Notably, that being said, Amber's not doing Vermilion Shop, so it must have good super potions, right? I don't know what they're kind of on that. Yeah, regarding the risky shots, I don't think I've seen Saiyan do 2C Giovanni this tournament yet. He did, he did do... Deal. Uh, he did do Sage Shots on Elite 4 last race. Quick, someone get a hangman going. Okay, so Sans at 20404 Jit Max set. Despite yeah, everything, I mean, everyone's still pretty close to each other. Actually, just being uh, about one fight behind uh, Amber here. It's so much time, though. Oh, it does. Yeah, I'll it you is. catch this, yeah. As the race continues, like, the chances of that gap closing come fewer. Yeah. It's so bizarre. The so... only thing that can get Etchy back in there is the big three <laughs> being bad for the other two. Yeah, um, which I mean, earlier race today, the best archer that we had was five turns, so. Yeah. Stuff bad can happen there. Um, there's about 68 seconds raw between Amber and Saiyan, but Amber's ahead of a poke. Uh, so it's more like 40 seconds uh, difference right now between them. Which, like I said, is... A bad archer's worth of difference, so... Yeah, yeah and like, protects on Koga. Yeah. So, the race is very much still close between Zane and Amber here. And if one of them dies to anything, then Echi gets the chance to come in and like, compete for that second place. Yeah. And like, Echi, even with the optional and all of that, this is still a good pace, good enough to... Beat the median very likely. Uh, so that second place will be worth two points and basically guarantee getting to uh, top nine. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you don't TNF uh, this race or the next eight points uh, for any of these racers with their median times, it should be fine. So I think that's where the bubble will be, it might be 7 points. Um, it, it might end up leaning more towards 7 points at this point, but I don't know. The, as this round goes on, the more confident we will be in like figuring out where that bar will be.
I'm just so focused on this race now, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> teaching Thunderbolt here. Yeah, I don't want to forget that. It's going to be awkward on Sabrina. Uh, checking out if Saiyan does the the thing here. The thing? Let's see. I'm not sure if he's aware of the strat. He is not doing the thing. He didn't do it. <laughs> That's two seconds if Amber can get it. I know Amber is saying right now, oh, he didn't do the thing. I'm going to do the thing. And I'm going <laughs> to get that two seconds back. And then close the gap just that much more. Also, it's... I'm not sure if Saiyan put Dodrio into second slot. I saw Amber did. Probably already did it on search then. Yeah, she says it a second. Okay. I don't think either of their stars, like any of their stars, are good enough to get a good range for Gold and Charizard. I wouldn't expect it, yeah. No, everyone's so star is pretty average. Yeah, so everyone's gonna use the X special attack. Oh, Amber did not do the thing. Aww. Will Echi do the thing? Echi is absolutely gonna do the thing. Yeah. He's the originator of the thing. <laughs> he found the thing. Exactly. Okay, let's see. Saiyan should be dressed drill pick, so this is fine. The only person who's gonna have a, a risky blue fight is Echi. Which is just insult to injury at this point. If Fabulous misses. Yeah, what do you, you know what they say, the rich get richer or something. Yeah, in this case, the poor get poor. <laughs> yeah, saying just special attacking. Not good enough special attack to us. So, through blue, which means up next is Archer 2. First one of the big three. And this is where we could see some shake up here in the order of the race. Depending on how well the fight goes between Zane and Amber. So ideally, we, in this true double battle, we want to see the Electro go for self-destruct and the Mach not to protect, which is the only opening that allows you to potentially get a three-turn fight and see what Saiyan gets here. You can also get self-destruct plus protect or the Electro can go for Thunderbolt. It can also go for Swift. It does go for Thunderbolts. I've never seen it go for Swift, honestly. I've, I've got it once. It was funny. Mm -hmm. uh, Saints, Saints Star took that like a champ, yeah. by the way. Didn't even go into the yellow. It does have so, a heal, though. This is going to yeah. be a five turn fight at best, I think. Depends on if the Electrode booms here. If the Electrode booms, this can still be a four turn. Yeah, this can still be far turn out if uh, Cubone hits the Bomberang. This on next turn on Eradicate. Hits it now, so this is now the quickest possible far turn still. Which gives Ember very little space uh, to gonna catch need up. An absolutely perfect archer do here. Yeah, they're gonna need the three turn, which again needs self destruct plus no protect from Monk. And 
no protect from wheezing, so that's good for Saiyan. No, it gets the same opening as Saiyan, so at best can keep pace here if the same thing happens. Electrode needs to go boom now. And Q1 needs to hit the boomerang. No. no. Oh, and the oh, oh it's okay. Para too. Well, we're uh, through the forever. we're through the um we're now through the electrode, so that's it's not the worst. It's still very rough. Yeah, but the the Golbat is there now, and that has Crunch, which also sucks. So uh, you you basically can't heal the paralysis. You just have to go for it. Yep. Get that gob out of the field as quickly as possible, but they'll now have to tank another crunch and potentially a sucker punch. Oh, oh the this crit on the sucker punch kills the star army for Amber. This is over. It's <laughs> uh oh and the the rapid ash is paralyzed too. Yeah. Can't stop to Dodrio here without the Star Army. Uh but this just Made it basically impossible for Amber to come back into Here's the how race. she can still win. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess so. If it really goes inc inc incredibly bad for Amber, then yeah, she could still catch up. But... Yeah, I mean, Amber's now has the star with at least one or two mons missing a DXP. So that means there'll have to be a delay on the rare candy till after Caden, probably. Well, I mean, usually you hit the level up on the Jinx, but you, maybe it's still enough to get it on the... Uh... Yeah, I'm blanking on the name right now. Slow bro. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know, actually. Yeah. Uh, Echi getting the perfect turn one archer. Just needs the Q-bone to hit the bone meringue. So Echi actually... has a chance to catch up here. Yeah, Echi isn't gonna... has a chance at a three turn here. Isn't gonna uh, surpass Amber, but... Let's see if he can get it. So we need the Q-Bone to hit two bomb ranks eradicate here to get the three turn. Sadly, when Gobat's on the field, it does tend to go for headbutt or, uh, or whatever else Same it can do. do. Yeah. I yeah, headbutt. Head so, okay. well, no three turn. turn. <laughs> can still get the four turn, of, uh, of course. Oh, we'll now get the four turn because you're just gonna take out the Weezing, take out the eradicate one after the other. I think Cubone could double crit Bone Meringue, but it doesn't have focus energy up. Yeah, it's, but, um, it's not gonna double happen. Double crit does get it. I've definitely gotten double crit without focus energy, has been really hype, but like. It's not something to, play, to bank on. 3 HP for her 4 HP too. <laughs> that was quite close on the Psycho Punch range there. I don't know if it could have killed in a high roll or something. Even if it could, you just go for it anyways. If you die, yeah. oh well. Keep on cleans up. Yeah, missing out on the Redicate again, then that should mean that Slowbro gets you here 48, so... Not the end of the world. As long as you can candy to 49 before Caden, you're still on the standard uh, experience route. And both Echi and Sand should be on 48 Pokemon right now. Amber, I think, is still on 47. Just waiting for the Muck to evolve. Mm -hmm. And there's the Muck. <laughs> As in, already marked both of the gifts. You better not forget one. 
that would be the way for our, uh, Amber and Ashi to get, to get back into the run. Saying getting kicked by Koka. <laughs> I believe he does need that extra candy too, as well as Ashi. So they both need to get the Lapras candy. Yeah, so uh, probably not gonna forget the Lapras. Yeah. Also probably listening to this stream anyway, hearing us talk about <laughs> forgetting the gifts. No, I think Etchy is the only one of the three that would be listening to us. Um, I don't know. There's not much insightful that we could say. That's true. Uh, Saiyan did write in chat earlier, but I uh, might just be looking at the feed and not listening to us, which is probably what I would do. Yeah, you don't want to hear our yapping. Like, no. I always forget which floor Lapras is on. I always think it's five. Like, I have to double check my notes every single time. <laughs> no, I think I, I, at some point, actually managed to memorize five is Archer, seven is Lapras. It's just an AOP where you have to go to some other floors to get other stuff. Uh, I remember, or I actually, remember I seven because it's lucky seven because you're done with the run finally. You're done with catching. <laughs> no, we're close to done with the run. It's still more than 40 minutes no, left. Done, done with catching. You don't, have to do, you don't have to do that part anymore. That's no true. No shiny Lapras for Saiyan. Sad stuff. Um, we already had a shiny Metapod today, so <laughs> hit the shiny quarter. But if you do get kicked by Koga, which obviously Satan's not gonna forget the Paragon, but if he did forget it, would it be faster to fly? Yeah, I think it would be faster to fly back, right? Because it's right next to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, and you don't have to like turn to like a throw. Yeah. Scenario. So it's never worth to go for Venomoth on Route 15? Probably not. Maybe you could get the 1% like Scyther, right? That would, that would be. Ball on it. That would be I, really funny. That would be really swag. <laughs> Every AOP runner is seething, except for me because I've gotten that before. Or like if you don't have a Chansey yet, go catch a Chansey. <laughs> yeah, actually is the only person who got a Chansey this run, interestingly. Saiyan has good special defense. Like, the T-Bolt from Electro didn't take down yeah. uh, Star Meat at yellow. So it's not gonna be in any trouble on the Sabrina fight. No shiny Lapras for Amper either. No. Which I don't think I've ever seen it. Save for later the run. If you're gonna go for Lapras strats, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, at this point, I think Saiyan just goes for 2C, um, yeah. assuming nothing drastic happens. Yeah, oh, Saiyan yeah, was... special defense, yeah. Saiyan is so far ahead now of Amber and Achi that playing it safe is definitely the smart call. Just getting in, getting the win, getting the three points, which will qualify him for top nine already without really having to worry about round four. And will break Etchie's win streak. That is true, it had to be broken at some point. And it's very likely happening here, right now. So the question is, does Amber... Yeah, Amber does buy the special defenses. Yeah, maybe planning on one C strats. Yeah. Also buying X defense, definitely planning on one C strats. They went out of their way to buy less than max special attacks there. To buy the X defenses, so uh pretty sure they're gonna go for one C Giovanni at least. And then definitely, probably Yeah. Definitely has like in mind what Etri is planning to do. And uh knowing that Saiyan's gonna be doing two C, like 
You yeah. need to make up that time in some way. Yeah, numbers position. Definitely a good idea to at least buy the items, keep that option open. And you know, there are fights where you can't really do safety stress, right? Caroline can just cost you a minute of your life, and there's nothing you can do about it. You say Except that, <laughs> but there are things you can't do. Technically. Yeah, you can uh, summon to see or. You could fight Colby instead of Caroline. You should not <laughs> do that. <laughs> you should not do that. Um. There, there's some discussion going on in, in the DMs between me and one of these racers about ways okay. to make Caroline safer. So, I'm not saying you're going to see anything. You won't, but like, there's some stuff cooking. You got a lot of putts on this stove right now. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I am pulling so many strings. Don't just come into chat actually and just say I love armor is four years old today. I don't think that's even true. I think it is true. <laughs> I think it is I remember, actually. I remember seeing the like the announcement video when I was like, um, I'd have like emergency surgery one day and I woke up and I was like, there was the I love armor thing going on, <laughs> like the direct. <laughs> So I remember that day, but like, no way was that five months later. That might not be exactly today. I'm gonna look it up now, cause yeah, I... I... I pulled up my phone, I'm... So I remember, exactly. I remember the trailer was on Pokemon Day. That was before the world ended in 2020. Oh, okay, so, uh... But I do know the, uh, 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 the, the DLC actually came out, like... It was the summer, if I remember right. Yeah, June 17th. Okay, Get so tomorrow, I guess. Tomorrow. Oh, well, I guess for me it's in 90 minutes, so <laughs> very close. Oh, actually he's probably reading like a Twitter account that's like anniversaries of Pokemon games or something. Oh, and they're based he's on like Twitter. Australia or something. Yeah, he's on yeah. Twitter right now. Okay. It's, it's in the time zone, like buffer area. We can excuse that. <laughs> I, I'm not so, excuse uh, because he's, he's on Twitter during his run. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, Saiyan now going into Koga's gym. Let's see. But well, Amber did hit 48 on Starmie, so no experience uh, issues there. Uh, Saiyan had 58. Um, very good. Didn't forget anything. I don't think we've had a 51 yet this tournament. We've definitely <laughs> not had a 49. Yeah, we, I think we maybe even had both of those last year, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we did have one natural kick by Koga where the person thought that they had marked something and they caught something they marked and they did not. And we definitely had a 51 situation. So let's see what we get here from Caden. Okay, saying Rich Kid Richer gets the perfect Caden. Uh, hits Hydro Pump, interesting. <laughs> um, still hits though. Necessary. Never punished. Does write oops in chat, so. Okay, so three turn Caden for Saiyan. Yeah, perfect Caden. Of course, it's gonna happen when you're already way ahead. Amber does have the Skull Ranges on Koga, for what it's worth. 133 special attack. So that's nice. And 127 speed, so we'll let speed pitch you out. Yeah. But Amber kind of needed Caden to at least take a little bit of time here, for a saying, and not be the perfect fan.
123 special attack is not gonna... It's not gonna be good for Echi. Nope, that is not good. We'll have to go for the Psychics. They had Elixir early, so if he runs out of Psychics, we'll have to take the Mom Heal. Yeah. Alright, Caden time for Amber. It looks like Saiyan's going through Koga, not many issues. Doesn't really shock me from the person who got the first explosion of the tournament last uh, race. Really? Yeah. Saiyan got explosion last race. <laughs> I got it last year once, and it was very hype. Let's see. 228 Koga, that's pretty good. I don't know what Koga times should be. Honestly, I don't know any paces. <laughs> I'm so bad. Everyone's always like looking at the clock and, you know, oh, this is a 3 0 pace. This is a sub 3 pace. And I'm like, sure. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I believe you that. say so. <laughs> I just don't believe it because I feel like there's a lot of points where like, especially this part where it's like a traditional Pokemon game, a lot of people aren't used to it. Where like there's a lot of hesitation and stuff. So like, especially newer runners, you'll say, oh, they're on sub three pace. And it's like, they're not. Like, there's, there's yeah. still going to be a lot of decision or like mashing and efficiencies, those types of things. So like, I don't know. I think calling out paces like as someone with a sub three versus to like someone who doesn't is like, really hard actually like yeah our riders are just playing slots in chat so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> i mean amber also won the hangman earlier <laughs> while playing focus on your races people please <laughs> <laughs> Saying getting the walk down, that's gonna be a huge, uh, huge they time save here. Too, yeah. Uh, Etchy through Caden. Uh, not at full HP though on his star. Must have gotten Moonblaster Toxic, yeah. Because it did a heal before this. Yeah, a little bit of chip damage is not the end of the world. Obviously, you kind of want to be full health for Giovanni, but I guess if you're going to 2C, don't know if she's going to risk the 1C. Amber is through Koga. She might not be at full health trying to bait out explosion. I don't know if that's something you can actively bait out. No, it gets toxic here. So even if it explodes now, it's not gonna be optimal. It doesn't. Okay, now into Geo's gym. I expect gonna do all of the safety strats. So 2C Samuel, 2C Geo. So again, I haven't seen him do 2C Geo before. I believe did not buy an extra at any point. Oh, in that case, probably gonna 2C for sure. No way around that. Oh, it gets very shit. <laughs> 
Amber is currently having connection issues or something with Twitch. Yep, we're back. We're back, saying finishing up the Samuel fight here. No issue, of course, with two controllers. Uh, Amber's going to be heading up to Giovanni's gym in just a second here after this flower patch cutscene. And then she's also flying to Viridian now. Saying solidly in the lead. But at least actually gets the walk skip, so... Yeah, that's time safe. Yeah, that's time safe. <laughs> uh, there we go, to see Giovanni for... Also saves, interesting. Yeah, this is not really a risky fight if you're 2 seeing. No. Oh. <laughs> Saying if she doesn't know how the juicy strat works. <laughs> well, in that case, uh... I mean, it's not like it's a complex strat, but... As long as he remembers to heal after. Yeah, even if you might not need to. Oh, yeah, you do need to. Yeah, I mean, if the Rapid Dash survives due to Power of Love, you can heal it in battle, but if it stays in red, it gets quick attacked, potentially. And then you don't have a partner. Hmm? We're going for 2C on Sandal. Okay. So they might just want to secure their second place here. So always when you 2C, the notes are like, don't use Psychic by itself, you'll never KO. Then you summon the 2C, you go through all the rigmarole, and then you go Psychic Stomp, and the Psychic just Oko's, and you're like, why yeah. don't you bring out 2C? <laughs> Every time. I mean, the thing is, if you are, if you can go for Psychic Stomp, that means that your special attack is at least good enough to at least get a chance of just one-shotting with Psychic. Yeah. Yeah, it would have oh. I could have just hit the range without this. Yeah. <laughs> just give me that 2 and 16 range. <laughs> yeah. I hate it every time. <laughs> so, let's see if actually also just wants to play it out or if he's gonna risk it. Nope, nah, risking he's it. For 1C. Yeah. He is the GOAT. He is the man person who is going to win this race. <laughs> Even though I haven't picked third on pickups. <laughs> you have a third, okay. Yeah. I mean, again, this this whole lineup works for my pickups for sure. Uh well yeah, actually I mean he is not that far behind Amber. Just the graveler fight and a little bit of dialogue, so Going for one C. I mean, despite all the things that happened in this race, actually still pretty close. Yeah, partially because Ember got the rough, rough archer fight. Uh, I mean, mostly because Ember was quite a bit ahead of Etchy still before that. Okay, because I know Ember's listening to Collins right now. I'm going to say this. Throw Pokeballs, don't throw the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen to the sign on Route 17. Yeah, that one sign that Dino talked to on accident, I think. <laughs> I don't know who talked to it. I feel like it was Dino, right? I, 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 I don't know. I didn't watch the race, which is saw the memes later. Pretty sure it was Dino. Like, half the stuff that happens in this, in like, the memes, <gasps> is like Dino or me. <laughs> <laughs> you are on the pulse when it comes to memes. Yeah, I'm. I, what am I, a Pokebot? Just like, know all the 
on the pulse of the community or whatever that Captain Pasta is, I'll get it for you one second. <laughs> Lady was the one who interacted with the sand, by the way. According to Denim. So, Edgy's doing one C, uh, Geo here. Gets sucker punched. It's fine. Uh, Etchy is through. Uh, I don't think Etchy has to heal, actually. I think 19 is safe. Depends on his defense. 19 on low defense is definitely a quick attack range, I think. Let me just, let me just check the notes here. here. Find out. Uh... Yeah, for sure. Oh, 19 is always quick attack range. Ninety-five defense at twenty-four, three HP. I think it was twenty-one. After the level up, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah twenty-one. So the min roll at ninety-five. Defense was 21 on the quick attack. So. Oh, and that's the mid roll. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal. Yeah. Roll. And we're doing gravel now. Staying on batch checks. Still comfortably ahead. I don't think any of our runners have to worry about not <laughs> outspeeding the Pidgeot, which is nice at least. Yeah, I think Amber was the slowest, but still managed to get right above it. This should be pretty satisfied, both for Amber and Echi. Same is most certainly gonna choose see Naomi. Okay, I want to propose a scenario to you in which Echi wins this race. Okay. Both Saiyan and Amber hit Alexa. And then they also accidentally talk to Colby. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the only way for Echi to get past Saiyan specifically. Still win. It's not a 0% <laughs> chance. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, Kobe. Uh, Saiyan missed the range on the Kangaskhan, so we now have a dead uh, Rapidash. Oh, I Fine. see. But that doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. Um, it's, it's good, actually. Like, the death animation just takes a bit, but it's not on the field anymore. And it's not getting yeah, EXP for the next battle. You don't need it for Nelson. And after that, you get the free hit anyway, so. Yeah, so you just like, you leave, um, after Giovanni, you revive it and don't heal it more in order to bait the outrage from Kangaskhan and hope that it goes into Rapidash and KOs it. That way, Kangaskhan's not using Crunch on your Starmie and lowering your defense and like making it a worse fight. That's the whole idea there. Uh, it's largely just a race strat, like building upon race strats and it's like, just a small, small optimization that gives you better, more breathing room on that fight. So is Amber gonna want to see Naomi? I don't think they will. But I'm happy to be proven wrong. I think one C would be a swag. Be hype. Very hype. They didn't summon instantly. Let's see. Amber's the person to summon late though. Yeah. yeah. Alright. As a fellow late summoner. I didn't believe.
Now will Echi one C make up time? I oh, absolutely. His star is <laughs> not great, so he also has that hydro pump range to contend with. Oh, he's uh, not clicking hydro pump. He's not clicking hydro pump. No, 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 no. I think he's gonna click skull. Turn on. <laughs> and we're just gonna we're just special burns. the crit. And if it burns, <laughs> then he acts special attacks. And then spells again, and then psychics the Venusaur without summoning 2C. Uh, if he doesn't burn, then he summons 2C and Scald x -Bex. That's what he's gonna do right now. Interesting. It's it, it's a strat. It's a thing he made up last round, last tournament. It's like specifically for this type of star, so I expect Okay, it. here oh, we go. Yeah, okay, yes. see? Goes into one C. I, I know the things. I know the strats. Uh, Saiyan <laughs> does get past Alexa though, so yeah, and past Colby, so uh, it's Edgy over. We'll need some help <laughs> to to win this race, but it's still going for second. So let's see. <laughs> okay, X special oh. attack. Oh, and we got the defense drop. Just going goes for hydro pump. Easy. <laughs> Hits the range, there we go. Easy. Never Easy, you want to see Alexa. Uh, Alexa? Are you on me? <laughs> That's my goat, right? Yeah, Hatchy. I picked him third in pickups. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> so many betrayals today. Yeah, I just checked out to pick him third. This is such a hard round for pickups, right? Like, yeah, because anything can happen. It's just nothing this, means anything. That's the beauty of the Swiss system. Yep. So many of these incredibly close range races. Saints through Caroline without much fuss. Um. I don't think there's really been any, like, sleep on Victory Road so far for anyone. No. I guess that could change with Edgy right now. But yeah, it's funny that Zane always ends up with really good RNG. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's had... I think he's had a little bit RNG last run. I don't remember what it was specifically. But... Uh, yeah, just... Every one of those risky fights went his way very decisively. No no bad luck, no minimize on Caden. No he is. Yeah. He's doing some things to mitigate it too, like the you know, the two C Giovanni and stuff. Amber yeah, Amber sure. Alexa. Yeah, yeah. But I was specifically talking about the big three where you can't really do anything about it, or at least as of right now, depending on what you're cooking about, uh, Caroline. That yeah, might still change, but yeah. Actually, did get the good cycle on the karate guy, so he didn't have to wait for him to spin twice. Nice. So he's actually he's still quite close to Amber here. I mean, Amber did get a good Caroline, so no risk of actually catching up quite yet. But he's just this puzzle on the next skip behind. Interesting that like some people do Thunderbolt in slot two. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good. they've all Let's skipped Alexa. Alexa. Yeah, she's the last person I think uh, who would ever hit Kobe again. <laughs> yeah. If you like watch the races closely during this this period, uh, you'll see everyone, like, take Alexa so far to the right, just to make sure you're not gonna hit Colby. It's really Me, funny. Caroline, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did I say? Alexa. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't hit Alexa. <laughs> you don't hit that, but... <laughs> I mean, you can skip Alexa by going to the right, it's just not good. You just won't, like, get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, does her vision extend all the way to the right? I thought you could yes. then, like, yeah, take the long way it's around. all the way. Oh, well, in that right case. The ledge. No, Saiyan's <laughs> going full 2C, head bob. Uh, he didn't even buy special special defenses, so... He's committed to the Lapras. Yeah. Uh... 247... Victory or exit for whatever that's worth. I think like a 301 with two C strats. 301, 302. It's like yeah. 15 minutes for E4. Which I think might actually, depending on how well things go, might actually be Saints' worst run so far. Which, again, goes to show how consistent he is. I want to do meaningless statistics about like trends and race times over the course of like five rounds. That'd be so fun. Meaningless statistics? Like, what's the trend line of each person's like race times over the course of the tournament? Wait. I mean, that's not. It's not uninteresting to me. I, I would actually like to know stuff like that. But, okay, and I feel like I'm not yeah. the only one. Hmm? It's five rounds. It's four rounds. Yeah, it's four rounds of Swiss, yeah. So few data points. I I need like four hundred samples before I can like Yeah. That's true. We're never gonna get that though, this is not a full like you would probably have to play a full round robin or something. Yeah. <laughs> We'd need a way to like archive the catch trackers but like yeah sure. god i wish we had that i wish we had that capability that'd be really fun okay amber is grabbing lapras so the onus is on etchy to 1c and make up time and i don't know if there's enough to do it i don't think so quite honestly Amber would have to no, no, because they're doing two C, they're not gonna die on anything. Yeah. I don't think Etchy has any time to make up here. Even with one C, the gap is just a little too wide. I think the best play here then is for Etchy to finish the race, get like a low 303, 304, uh, and improve his tiebreaker. So if he gets second place next round and puts himself at eight points, if the bubble is eight points, he is still in, guaranteed. Yeah. And I don't think he picked up the full restore. I didn't see it. So he might also just be going with Labyrinth or something like that. Isn't menuing at all going into Lorelei? Yeah, if he has enough uh, special, enough HP, it's fine uh, to not menu yeah. there. And if like last yeah. rabbit, that's just not close to level up, it's fine. You can push off a little bit. Yeah, there's not a lot of things in Lorelei that can you can die to. And now picking up the lab press for the last three fights. Very consistent, very uh, does safe like, strat. Does look yeah. like actually is going for plus four on Lorelei. <laughs> Let's see if that'll save a little bit of time. But with this special attack, I don't think this range is pretty. Nope. Doesn't hit it. Oh. That's close. <laughs> Um, yeah. Easy. Okay, it does hit it. If he had missed this now, that would have been so bad. Yeah. 
here. Well, uh, we want to see faint this round. 44 special for Amber, so we're through the Lance range. Very nice. Really nice, actually. Uh, yeah. Not she's just... going to be close for the uh, Pidgeot range, though. Not Actually, it's just... Actually, yes. Go for that one. Edgy has removed a second Pokemon from his party. There is no second Pokemon in his party right now. Okay, so... He's so... just gonna one see the whole way. Yeah, he's gonna power up love. Yeah, if he doesn't... Happen. Since he didn't pick up the first story, he has to bank on the power of love to happen. It has two chances to trigger. And if it doesn't trigger... You just that's loop. the fight. Hmm? You just heal loop if it doesn't trigger, basically. And hope there's no yeah. different drops. But you can't get crit in that time, you can't get your defense drop. That's fine, he'll be fine. Yeah, sure. I mean, he's like a little less than a fight behind, right? Oh, yeah, we didn't like go over this at the beginning of the race, but like. Which version of the game do you think is going to win this race, Pikachu or Eevee? <laughs> Here's how Eevee can still win. Because <laughs> I know people are like doing all that stuff. They're like, oh, he's the player of these things, and it's like blah 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 blah. Yeah. Meanwhile, like three of the like ten Pika runners are in the same race, and it's like <laughs> they don't have a chance to win. <laughs> They're all fighting each other. They're all at the top table. No faint for Edgy, that's good. I mean, very far in the green they are. Yeah. yeah. Basically it's impossible time. to get faint. Saves time to not get faint, you know? <laughs> Definitely, Plus yeah. Alright, let's see how this goes. Edgy doesn't even have any... Like regular healing items, right? I don't think he even has full heals. Yeah. Yeah. So like looking in his again, bag, you don't buy paralyzed heals on Pika version, and I don't think he... I think he used both the Shallow Sable and the Pewter Crunchies. Yep. Either way, you can't afford to just use the status heal here because Arbok will just kill you. So yeah. he has to get the Power of Love to get out of this, or get the Crunch Turn One opening. Which is tricky in his own right. Now that's glare. No what? immediate power of love. Now that's still fine, can't still get it now. Oh, Doesn't get it. Drop. Now it's to here and hope Should and pray. Crunch nope, crunch again. And that's 6 HP. Is this a roll? Next crunch kills. Okay, that's the poison jab. Still no power of love. Oh, Incredible. Uh, <laughs> Incredible. Oh, man. <laughs> this is not paying off for Edgy. Oh, 2 HP. Two Still HP. no power of love. <laughs> it's like, at this point, it, it should have been a coin flip to happen. Oh, and that's... Well, there that's, he goes. That's that. That was exceedingly silly. I mean, while Saiyan's on champ. Uh, Echi has indeed uh, forfeited on race time. Alright. DNF from the reigning champ. Understandable after that, but... Still sad to see. First loss for Echi in tournament ever. Now let's see if Saiyan can stick the landing. Yeah, he has six points to work with. He just has to win his race next round, and he's definitely in and even in second place. He has a good shot. Do you know who he can run into next round? Uh, you? Randall. <laughs> it's you and Randall. It's yeah, true. That's a fun little bracket that you'll have to deal with. Yeah, um, the three sub three race. <laughs>
I don't think we've had that yet. Three sub three. Uh, see, ah, I can't talk. Three sub three runners in run race, right? Yeah, no, I don't think I'm three on EV. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this was a three sub three. Okay, so okay. this was that already. Yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting who has a sub three. Yeah, Amber has a three. Oh, 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 oh. I see. <laughs> Saiyan's almost done here. Um, a three flat something. Incredible. So that got, means this. Sorry, yeah. Uh, just Amber's got the Blackbird's HP for champ, so Blackbird should faint. Very nice. Uh, so <laughs> if Sane actually gets his three flat here, his three tournament times after three runs will have been a 259, a three flat, and a 301, which is incredible. <laughs> And potentially, I mean, he, he he won't really have to try too hard next turn. With 9 points, he's safely in top 9. Uh, he honestly could just DNF or DNS <laughs> round 4. For what it's worth, he will be playing for seeding. Um, that is true, yeah. We'll move back to the pot system for top 9 for determining the races. So that'll be three pots of three. Alright. So this would be a high three flat. Uh for saying Huge GG. A little bit of mashing still left. And Amber. It's now gonna be breaking through that Pidgeot. And that's it. 30050. 47 on race time. So very good time. Seemingly the most consistent racer so far. This race will end with Saiyan in first, Amber in second, and Echi in third. Yeah, Amber should finish with a 302 here. Which is still an amazing time for a race. Uh, even outside of a race, of course, but especially considering it's a race. And also, like, Archer that happened. Yeah, that Archer. Yeah, it was bad. Amber is through, so it'll be a 302. 302 and change. Yeah, 302 probably. And we'll see if any one of the runners wants to join us for a chat after. I know Etchy doesn't have a microphone on his temporary setup, so. Uh, no, no Etchy, I know Saiyan said they had to go do stuff. So. Okay, so we'll see if Amber wants to join us, maybe. To talk about this race, it had its ups and downs. For sure. Well, that's not right. <laughs> Wrong race is on the chat command. But, uh. Wait, what? Here we go. 30256, probably a little lower in race time. Uh, 30252 on race time. Mm 
Yeah. GG to all of our runners. Did you? It was a fun race. Did you have the commands on PSR TV one? Oh, racers and runners are different commands. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> uh, We're joined by Amber. Was, I Amber. Remember updating that one. <laughs> Amber, GG. Um, what do you think of the run? Um, it was, okay, so early game was really weird, I remember. Because I got the rival one death, which, like, never happens. Um, yeah. and I kind of, like, because of that, I kind of made a few, like, slight misplays. Like, like, it's like a situation you're never in, but, like, because I rival one died, I shouldn't have caught the bug on route two, because that gave me an in-battle level up on Jocelyn. It, like, stuff like that. Um... But yeah, it was like okay um, up to that point. Um, had to reload for Growlithe. Then after the Growlithe reload, oh, I mean, I so I had not gotten Rhyhorn in my last two races. So I hadn't gotten a single Rhyhorn the entire tournament until the last room of this race. I finally got Rhyhorn. So that was very happy. I was very happy about that. I almost thought I was gonna go three races without Rhyhorn. Um, At least that curse is broken now. Exactly. And then, I guess after that, really, the only other thing was Archer. Like, other than that, that was pretty much it. And I mean, like, it happens. I feel like I had pretty good defense, so I thought I probably would have lived if, that, if, I didn't, if I didn't get crit. But even if I lived, it would have been, like, a very scuffed fight anyways, so... Yeah, I mean, when... Electro never booms the entire fight. You just, like, are always going to get a scuffed fight no matter what. I don't even think that the paralysis... Well, no, the paralysis did matter because I got speed drop, which meant I couldn't uh, kill Bulbat. So I guess it did matter, but... Yeah, even without the paralysis, too, it wasn't right? bad. Mm -hmm. It was... Yeah. Other than that, though, I, I feel like... It was okay. I feel like my menuing was not as clean, especially within like the first half of the run. I wasn't like menuing very cleanly. I think I kind of like settled in after that, but I mean, it's hard to complain when you get a three o two. I mean, that still feels like a pretty solid time. I mean, I guess for me, it's like not amazing, but like not bad either. Like kind of like right, right in the middle for me. Yeah, especially um, with everything that happened, right? Like, mm -hmm. there's only so much you can do in your power. I think you did mo mostly what you could. Yeah. I I think if I had gotten, like, a clean archer, I mm, probably would have risked some things uh, in late game. Like, um, risked, like, Samuel. I had, like, really good defense yeah. so I could, and really good special attack, so I could have risked Naomi this run. But kind of after that, I was in the situation where I was, like, Saiyan was too far ahead, and then Echi was also, like, pretty far behind. Yeah. And by pretty far, I mean, like, like a minute. Like, not actually really that far, but far enough that I just felt like uh, I just wanted to just do safe strats the rest of the way. Especially, like, when you're at six points right now, like, the difference between second and third place is, like, so huge. Yeah. So. For sure. I mean, you're basically guaranteed eight points now with that 302. Mm -hmm. Gonna beat the median. Uh, so what do you think of your chances for? Uh, the rest of the tournament from this vantage point? Um, I mean, I feel like right now, I feel like I can win against anyone except Saiyan. <laughs> That's like, <laughs> and I guess if Saiyan has like a bad run, I guess I can, but like on an average run, I feel like I can, I can, I feel pretty good. Also, you had Adam at Pika, so that was like a little off on some things too. Yeah, so. Yeah, okay, I had I had Adamant and I had the rival one death, which means the like the shopping was like for pewter was like so different and I had to do it pretty much like on the fly. That's why I was like kinda slow in my menuing because I was like basically like reading my money as I bought things to like make sure I, I didn't like buy too much and that I couldn't buy the magic carp or something. Did you buy like five great balls then? Yeah, I bought five great balls. Um I also do burn heals instead of um X Defend. In races, so I did five great balls, three X attacks, three antidotes, two burn heals, and then I thought I was going to be able to buy three awakenings, but I didn't have enough money, so I bought two. Mm -hmm. 
then you just picked up like the full heels at the end. Uh, I don't. I I think I didn't like a full heel. Okay, I like didn't use like a single like okay. status heel like the entire Vegas section. I think maybe I was wrong, but I I knew I was just like fine without with um with uh, all those plus like I still had the um the two full heels. I didn't get confused on Blaine, so I knew I was like totally fine on status heels. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It was a good race. It's, I think, what we exactly what we wanted from this format, so I'm very happy to see that. And eight points is on the bubble, and you just need to, like, finish a run next round. Yeah. Get last, and you're in for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like w- with, with eight points, you can... You, it, there's not really, like, much pressure on me for round four. Like, I can make them just kind of... Like, if, if bad things happen, it's not, like, the end of the world for me. Yeah, just, like, go world record during the run. <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah. All right. All right. That was that. Great race, everybody. Uh, Those are the top three players in the tournament right now. But that is not all for uh, this round. We do have a bunch of other races coming up. Unfortunately, I think the next one is on the 19th. So it's like three days away. Uh, I'll be between Headstrong, Etiquette, and uh, Sandy, our commentator. Yeah, this is actually a rematch from last year. Round two, yeah. we had the same exact race. And, and that, that was so much worse then. <laughs> <laughs> that race was decided by Caroline, if I remember correctly, between Headstrong and Etiquette. So yeah. this is going to be a hype rematch. And also Sandy. You know, yeah. like you said, you, you improved a lot since last year, so it's going to be very fun to watch. Yeah, now I'm not playing off OBS preview. It's so great. <laughs> yeah. No more training weights. Exactly. After that, we got Razor, DRAMs, and Sheep on the 21st. Yeah, that's the, that's the zero point race I mentioned way earlier. Uh, all three runners in that range, uh, in that race, have yet to pick up a point in the tournament. So uh, it's really win or or bust at this point. And even if they win, they're gonna have they they're gonna face an uphill battle in round four. So high stakes for that race. That will definitely be a fun one. And then our last one, uh, we'll have uh, J Tattles, Leggy, and Alwo. Uh, that will be taking place the same day, a couple hours later. Uh, it does overlap a bit, so that one will be on PSR TV too. I also do have an amendment to this. Um, since you've created this graphic, there has been a race scheduled. Oh, really? Uh, I went for I this last night. With, uh, just during the race, just now. Oh, uh, okay. That's why I missed it. Okay. So Ergote versus Tucker the Rat and Head Bob will be yeah. on the 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So this probably means that the Headstrong at a Sandy race will go to PSR TV too. Yeah, I would expect PSR TV2 for my race and uh, Ergote, Tucker, and Head Bob uh, as PSR TV on Wednesday Ooh. at 2 p.m. Two banger races on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, that will be a good one. So make sure to follow the channel. Go follow Pokemon Speedruns TV. I'll give them a little shout out and uh, stay tuned. Follow, make sure to like and subscribe so we can trigger the little YouTube thing uh, on there. We'll see you guys on Wednesday uh, for the next, I guess, the the one that I don't have listed on here. So because they schedule it during the race. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Bye.